Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Die House Stadium here in Garrett County Middle School as we get you ready for homecoming 2022. It is great to be here. So glad to have everybody along on the network tonight. Took us a little longer than usual to get on, but we finally made it. Man, are we glad to be home in the friendly confines as we get you ready for Anderson County and Garrett County. Coming up next right here, I've got Scott Boland and Kalem Grasham, and they're going to get you ready for all the activity tonight. Stick around, folks. Great to have you along the network tonight. We'll take a break. We'll get you to all the action here in just a minute. You're listening to Golden Lion Football right here on the Golden Lion Sports Network. Hey, and I know who to call if I need to. Go two by two, fellas, two by two. Loosen them up, loosen them up. Still big boy, ready to go? Huh? Let's get after it today. Ready, flip, move! Boom! If they're on the offense and they pass the ball, you'll pass. If they run the ball, you'll run. Do you understand me? There he is. Good. Focus on your key. If he's in a two, remember, I'm going down, and you work to the backside back. Okay? We got to stay on our blocks and stay on our blocks. We're fine. Get off the football. Let's go. Hey, hold him out here. I'm not, I'm not doing this. Hey, hey. Just go. Athletics are proudly brought to you by the Bob Allen Motor Mall, Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank, the Irving Group, Realtors and Auctioneers, the Hunt Insurance Agency, First Southern National Bank, Sutton Pharmacy, Toyota of Somerset, Farmers National Bank, Holly Peak with Exit Realty, Danville Office Equipment, and Whitaker Bank, uniquely Kentucky. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Die House Stadium as finally the Golden Lions has come back to their home country. As tonight, Garrett County Golden Lions are paying host to the Anderson County Bearcats. We're going to do things a little bit different tonight, Cliff Ed and Caleb Gresham are with me. We're going to jump right in this. We've got one of our fantastic sponsors, Cliff Ed Irvin. This was this Cliff Ed. Thanks for joining us, my man. Thank you, We guys. sure appreciate that. Cliff Ed is a, is a former athlete here, graduate, does all kinds of great stuff for us. Also one of our, uh, one of our sponsors. We just wanted to have you on here once to thank you, but just kind of get your ideas about what, you know, tell us a little bit about Cliff Ed, Cliff Ed Irvin. If they don't already know you, they've been under Who a rock. Who doesn't know Cliff Ed? They've been under a rock. But tell us just a little bit about Cliff Ed Irvin. Uh, let's see. I played here, but it's been a few decades ago now. So I uh, graduated here in 91. Mm -hmm. um, lifelong resident other than going to UK and been back here in business with my father since 1995. And uh, I'll, I just – just been a pleasure to, to hook up with you guys and Jeff the last couple of years, and I'm really, really excited about the way you all have been able to do the broadcast and present those. People like me don't go to all yeah. the way games. <laughs> right. We don't go to Middlesbrough maybe <laughs> like I used to, but uh, been, been able to watch a lot of football for the last 40 years. And Garrett County, uh, just wonderful facilities. I mean, oh, it's yeah. the fifth week in the season in our first home game, but just a fabulous night here. and Packed out. And, and I tell you, you know, it's homecoming, uh, so it's definitely nice. Cliff had kind of having alumni uh, and, and people that really care uh, and have an invested interest in Garrett County. And, and you know, I, I was joking, but I'm really not. I mean, you know, the Irvin name is just not Anonymous with Garrett sure. County, all the support no and everything you all have done uh, for the county uh, over the years, uh, you and your dad and just your whole family uh, have just been so supportive. Uh, and it is a little unique coming into week five, having our first home game. Uh, but just kind of being such a key uh, community contributor, being alumni here on homecoming, you know, kind of, man, it's, it's great to see this crowd kind of pile in and really kind of support this football team. Yeah, and it's something, you know, it, 
Not everybody has that connection, maybe, uh, but most of us have played sports, participated. You, you still have a connection. You know, I don't know a lot of these kids. I know their parents. Some sure. of them I know their grandparents. <laughs> you know, that's the crazy thing. But, uh, uh, you know, I'm just so excited to, to have, of course, Jeff Hester. Uh, oh, his his first goodness. year back here was my, my senior year. Uh, and, and, you know, the crutch fields and, and, and all those guys that, that – uh, I played under, I coached some of these guys, and now I'm back, and, and you, you've kind of come full circle. Sure. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's just been been a pleasure to, to support all our kids. We've got so many good student athletes and so many opportunities for them to participate now and, and just very thankful to, to be able to contribute a little to that. So before we go any farther, this is not your first time with a, with a headset on. So <laughs> he's for, a, now, he is a professional. I was going to say, so for, he many, is a for many years, you did a, after you played and when you got back, you, you traveled with Mike Carter as both as Caleb and I did as well. You traveled more than we did, but uh, many days you sat right here in this booth, traveled uh, to other other, other football folks with uh, with Mike Carter and uh, talk about some of those fantastic times uh, running around with Mike. We had some of the best times that oh, you can imagine. Oh, you yeah. guys have been yeah. through that, and you too. You just kind of get a little bit of bond, and and you know I I think I don't know how our analysis was, but our chemistry <laughs> with each other was good. Um, you know, and we had Newport and Carroll County, and I mean we oh, had yeah. some road trips, yes. you know, in the district, yes. but. I think Mike started broadcasting in 88 or 89 with WRNZ right after they came here. And I started in 95 or 96 and worked as color and play-by-play for a little while with Mike filling in for, I guess, about 10 or 11 years. Yeah. So uh, saw a lot of football games, took a lot of long Friday (laughs) road trips, and uh, really enjoyed it. Just a lot of fun and, you know, still get people now, and you guys will get that for years. As hey, I used to listen to you guys on Friday night and really enjoyed, you know. That's before this all this technology like they got today. (laughs) That's when you back and you had to tune in. Yeah, that's that's right. right. You had to tune in. And, and, you know, Cliff, we get, you know, and I'm sure you hear out in the community, just people love uh, this this stream and and this opportunity to kind of bring this into their homes and and then go back and and watch it. and folks, I'm telling you, I mean, you know, this, this, the production, the, the, the radio talent here. I mean, you know, the, the, <laughs> the talent, the in-depth analysis uh, yes. that occurs here well, couldn't be, like brag, couldn't be possible without folks yeah. like you, Cliff. Ed. So we sure do appreciate, appreciate your support, my friend. Well, thank you guys. And I appreciate you, Jeff, again, for bringing this together. I know last week I was tuned in and of course that game was going to the wire. Oh, and you can see the, oh, yeah. the, oh, the uh, numbers coming up and the people come on, let's oh, go. Yeah. Garrett. That's right. That's right. I think it just, it, it brings a sense of a community maybe to, to those that aren't able to come to the games or go to the away games. So appreciate you guys. Appreciate you. Thanks Without again. a doubt. Do we want to go ahead and take yes. a quick break? Yeah, go we'll go ahead and take a quick break. That's Cliff Ed Irvin, one of our fantastic sponsors. We sure appreciate Cliff Ed and all the folks that sponsor Main Street Media. We'll take a one-minute break, and we'll be back. You're listening to Garrett County Golden Lion Football here on Golden Lion Sports Network. Bob Allen Motor Mall is a proud sponsor of Garrett County Football. Shop Bob Allen for a winning selection of new and pre-owned vehicles, all dealmaker price. Click and save today at BobAllenMotorMall.com. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank understands family, tradition, community mean just a little bit more around here. You can see it and hear it. And that's why we take so much pride in what we do. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank. Your hometown friends. Your hometown bank. Garrett County is our special place. And that's why Hunt Insurance Agency is proud to serve the insurance needs of local businesses, families, and individuals. We build relationships that last because getting to know you and your personal needs is what we do best. Hunt Insurance Agency. I'm Holly Peak with Exit Realty, your hometown realtor. I love seeing old friends and meeting new. Buying, selling, I know the value of our area. Our 3D virtual tour will sell your home fast. Like you, I'm sold on the Golden Lions. First time homeowner, I didn't know anything about the loan process, so that's why we decided to go with First Southern. The process with First Southern was exactly how I pictured it. They were just very welcoming and made me feel like I had known them forever the minute that I walked through the door. Since 1967, Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers have helped folks with their farms, commercial property, auction needs, and of course, dream homes. The Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers, no one sells it better. Since 1951, Danville Office Equipment has dedicated itself to providing personal service and superior office products for our customers. We take a lot of pride in their success because that's how we measure ours. Danville Office Equipment, Danville, Lebanon, and Somerset. Farmers National Bank. 
Foundation believes investing in education is the best way to build a stronger community. Good luck to all the Garrett County students the audio in the classroom working, and on the playing fields. Go Lions! Friendly service from people you know. That's Sutton Pharmacy. We are a hometown community pharmacy with old-fashioned values, experience, and the latest technology and resources. Sutton Pharmacy, dedicated to providing the very best for you. Go Lions! Toyota of Somerset has been serving and supporting our local communities. Trusted, loyal, dedicated, helpful, and consistent. Toyota of Somerset. Come see us. Whitaker Bank has always been more than just a bank. We're a locally owned, community driven institution made up of your friends and neighbors. And of course, Golden Lion fans just like you. Garrett County and Whitaker Bank, uniquely Kentucky, member FDIC. Hey, I'm Maria Montgomery, and you're watching Main Street Media TV. And welcome back, folks, as we are about just under 10 minutes away from kickoff tonight as we are trying to make sure that we do have sound for you guys. So let us know if you're able to hear us, if you're out there uh, out there watching. I know it's, uh, it's always difficult when you have broadcast uh, like this just because we have so many moving parts and so many working parts. Uh, but just wanting to see if you guys are able to, uh, to hear us. If you can, please let us know. When you get on or when the broadcast comes back on. So, I, I tell you what, Scott, just an absolute big-time night here tonight. we got the oh, color yeah. guard that's about to come on the field. We have the award-winning band for Chris Vance. And I tell you right now, folks, we're we're gonna we're gonna show this. Man, we are blessed to have Alex Miller. Alex to come Miller and sing the national anthem here tonight. American Idol All Star is also a Gary County graduate. Uh, one of our fantastic folks that graduated from Gary County, and we're so thankful that he does uh, does things like this for us. Able to come back and give of his time. As folks, we're gonna go ahead and turn it over to American Idol star. Alex Miller as he sings tonight's national anthem for the Gary County Golden Lions. Folks, that was American Idol contestant from Lancaster, Kentucky, Alex Miller. Yay, sound. They say we have sound oh, now, so yeah. that's fantastic. Sean Allen Sinkhorn oh, says yeah. we have sound. Sean, I wanted you to know that my finally the Lions have come back to Die House Stadium was just for you, my friend, as I wanted you to make sure that you had that as reference to The Rock. We're going to go ahead and take one more break, and we'll be back to preview tonight's uh, 
ba- excuse me, to preview tonight's football action at homecoming 2022. You're listening to Gary County Golden Lion football here on Golden Lion Sports Network. As a first time homeowner, I didn't know anything about the loan process, so that's why we decided to go with First Southern. The process with First Southern was exactly how I pictured it. They were just very welcoming and made me feel like I had known them forever the minute that I walked through the door. Since 1967, Urban Group Realtors and Auctioneers have helped folks with their farms, commercial property, auction needs, and of course, dream homes. The Urban Group Realtors and Auctioneers, no one sells it better. Since 1951, Danville Office Equipment has dedicated itself to providing personal service and superior office products for our customers. We take a lot of pride in their success because that's how we measure ours. Danville Office Equipment, Danville, Lebanon, and Somerset. Farmers National Bank believes investing in education is the best way to build a stronger community. Good luck to all the Garrett County students in the classroom and on the playing fields. Go Lions! And welcome back, folks. 2022 homecoming here (laughs) at Gary County Die House Stadium. And we have with us the star of stars. The star of stars. They're going to think we're talking about Ken Parsons, but we're not. (laughs) We're talking about Alex Miller. The one and only. My man, Alex. Thank you you so much. And it's so cool, man. I mean, it's so cool getting to watch you, getting to see you do all this stuff. I mean, we kind of knew you win. Oh, yeah. But, But, you know, I remember you coming up and singing in talent shows and singing all this stuff. Oh, yeah. And and so for us, it's really, really cool because not only do we get to see you as the star, but the guy we knew. That's exactly and, right. And the thing that's so cool about it, I'll, I'll shut up, is you come back and do this. Oh, you yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you're, you're traveling all over the world, and you come back and sing the National Anthem. We appreciate it. And last night you did the soccer game. Yes, Thank I did. You, thank you so much. Well, I had to go to the soccer game. My brother's on the soccer oh, game. Oh, so got connections I was, was there. I was going to be there anyway, so I figured I'd, I'd, I'd and, cut you all a break. And I, I heard he had to do the tonight because Scott Bowler was so, on, the, on the broadcast. So yes. just so you know, so just so you know, I was going to do national anthem, and I told That's him true, Alex. because this it was is a my, true story. I was, and I said, look, <laughs> if you find somebody, they better be good yeah. to bump me, and I, I'll pass. And you for bumped you. him, Alex. Uh, well, I'm sorry, Scott. <laughs> Mercy. Hey, t- t- talk to us about what's going on with Alex. Well, Miller yeah, here. I just got back from Nashville. I was recording some brand new material, and yes. so we're looking to put a record Can't out wait. here before too long. Yeah, and uh, got a brand new song going to be coming. I showed you a little bit. Oh, of it. Yeah. I love it. Let me tell you something. What I saw, it was impressive. It was very talented. It was very, very talented. talented. <laughs> yes, but uh, we got brand new, brand new stuff coming out, and, and we've been working on a new record, new material, and uh, that's always fun and always oh, good yeah. to do. Well, when you do get it, send it to us for our millions of followers. Yes, we'll put it out yes. there. But we, there are so many people oh, in the goodness. connections that so you have you, that you have so here proud. talking with Shelby Goldie and, oh, and yeah. his fantastic wife and all these folks when they get the opportunity to see you, it's it's pretty cool. And you go to all these really big venues, but coming back home's got to be special. It is. You know, I tell folks, I say, well, where's your favorite place to go? And yeah. I said, well, no, my favorite place to go is whenever I get to go home. For a while. <laughs> uh, you know, there's some beautiful places I've got to go, but there's nothing like the, the oh, here. Yeah, I mean, right. There really ain't. And, uh, uh, I can't say that enough, and I'm so proud to be from here. Oh, no doubt, and we're we're proud as well. I got to ask you. So I may have asked you this before, but don't remember the question. Okay. So you're on American Idol. You walk out there, and you got Katy Perry and Lionel Richie, and all. how how was? I mean, how cool are those dudes? And and, and obviously, Katie I don't Perry. think they're as cool as that. I mean, how how, uh, well, thank you. how cool was that? Uh, they were they were really cool, and and yeah. the the cool thing about them was they treated me just like I was another. Another that's guy, awesome. you know, and that's the wow. that's the best thing, you know, because yeah. there ain't no one person better than another. I sure. always, I always believe so. Sure. Uh, they, they treated me that way, and, and it was a mutual respect kind of thing. And it wasn't just a, looking at a kid saying, no. we'll do better, do this, that, the other. No cool. doubt about that. So you're on the road a bunch. How yes. much are you on the road, and where are you going next? It's it's mostly every weekend, some days through the week. I'm not home. Uh, you know, of course, this last week I wasn't in town very long. But, uh. in fact, I won't be in town tomorrow. I'm heading to <laughs> Upton, Kentucky. But uh, um, I travel all over, and I've uh, been very blessed. Next weekend we're heading to Oklahoma. Wow. Fantastic. Yeah, wow. so uh, yeah. You got some shows out west. We get to see all every bit of the country and every yeah. bit of it some people don't want to see. Do <laughs> <laughs> so are you with the same folks when you're making shows or just different places? or like? Well, anyway. it's it's different places, so I'm with different folks. Uh, this year I've got to open for Brooks and Dunn, yeah. Sawyer Brown, oh uh, Diamond Rio, some real I legends. And, um, oh so I got to open for some of those kind of cats. And uh, what way that happens is you know, my booking agent kind of just uh, – 
folks need to open an axle, sure. they'll, they'll throw my name in there. For and sure, I, yeah. and uh, I, what they do is they look me up, and that's what's really cool about getting those kind of axles. Those, those big axles will look you up, right? Yeah. And their, their management team will look you up and say, well, we like him or we don't. Yeah. And so I've been picked to do a lot of shows that, you know, anybody could be able that's to right. do. So, but, you know, uh, Alex, uh, you know, I've seen a video that you've had has really risen in the charts. Oh, yeah. You know, and yeah. I mean, man, I tell you, you are definitely kind of – uh, kind of laying your claim, and man, you've got such a bright future. Well, I sure appreciate it. Sure try, you know. Yeah. I, we we turn the lights on a lot to keep it pretty bright. <laughs> well, and, and again, you got such a, such a cool future. But what you do coming back here is really cool. And we won't say what we went off the air. We were giving you a little bit of love advice. Yeah, we were yeah, trying to help you. you. We'll, we'll keep that between we'll us. Three. They, they yeah. were trying to get me to move, so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I gave him some good advice. We'll <laughs> see if he takes just it. Just a second, no. Well, Alex, man, seriously, congratulations. Hey, thank, thank you, Scott. So much. Appreciate you. Here with you. We appreciate you. You send us that stuff when you get we there. Sure will. Folks, make sure that you look up Alex Miller on Spotify. Oh Everything else. Tell them where it is so they can find you, Alex. Well, the best place to find me is at A. Miller Music, and that's on all social media platforms, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter. We try to keep it Absolutely. easy for you. So, oh, yeah. uh, just go to that, A. Miller Music, look us up, and uh, you'll find us, I guarantee you. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Alex. And those appreciate of you, you folks buddy. that don't know Alex, look him up. You're going to absolutely love him. Thank you for joining us, my man. And it is football it's game time, time Let's go. baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Garrett. Let's go, here. GC. Thank you so much, my man. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with uh, Alex Miller here just for a minute as we so appreciate him coming back and hanging out with us. Gary County, I assume, won the toss and elected to defer to the second half as they will be kicking off to the Anderson County Bearcats as Zach Daly will be kicking uh, kicking off. Coach will have to move our Daniel Hopkins. Did you know section hey, a we're little flexible. later? We're, we're flexible. flexible. We'll work them in. I mean, we're, we're gonna, professionals. We're going yeah, to, if we're nothing else, if we're not professionals, we're going to work in our shout outs, folks. Make sure you let us know where you're watching from. Make sure you let us know uh, who you're cheering for. Gary County Gold Lions, obviously, but who else? As it is football time here at Die House Stadium. So it's going to be a squib kick, going to be handled quickly by number 36 from Anderson County, as that is Tyler Mincham, as Anderson County will take it over first and 10 from the 39-yard line. Kathy Denham says, let's go, GC. Lanny Ray is watching, cheering on GC. Ronnie Walter says, let's go, GC Lions. Chris Vance is in the house oh my as goodness. he's walking down through here. I mean, when the my, legend. When he walks down through, he just kind of commands. The, you know, everybody watches. Everybody I mean, I just, was. Well, I'll always watch. First and ten for the Bearcats. As, uh, Bearcats, as of last year, had a really uh, unique offense. As they're going to line up it. in a shotgun formation. Oh, oh, wow. It's just going to be hammered by Mason Sula. And I can't tell. Is that Hayden Holcomb? As Hayden they, Holcomb. As they. Uh, drop him for about a four-yard loss. So it'll be first, or excuse me, second and 14 for the Bearcats. So I tell you, Scott, the, the, the offense that, that Anderson County runs is is what they ran last year. It's kind of like a traditional single-wing offense. Uh, to be honest with you, it's kind of predicated on physicality. It's predicated on we're going to line up and and run the football between the tackles. And it, it you know, uh, you know, especially on that first play, the goal lines was up to the physical challenge. Shotgun formation as Eli Castle is the starting uh, quarterback as he's going to hand it off quickly to Camden Higgins, sophomore. He's 42 rushes for 654 yards on the year for averages 163 yards. Have to know where number yeah. four is at all times. And I tell you what, they, and Anderson needs to know where 23 is. So Trent Nyson did a great job of kind of getting in the backfield, making a big stop there for Anderson County. And Anderson County uh, is kind of a traditional running team. So, you know, when you get Anderson County behind the chains here on third long. I think it sets up well for Garrett County. Cindy Rogers has checked in and said, man, Alex Miller did a great job. Oh, yeah. i tell you what, there's no nothing more Garrett County than Alex Miller and Cindy Rogers, oh. as we love both of those folks. Love you, Cindy. It's going to be third and 12 for the Bearcats as he's going to roll out to his left. Castle looking to throw. He's got somebody out. Oh! Oh, JT Parsons had his paws on it as he, was co he covered that perfectly out in the flats and the ball is going to be knocked down It'll be fourth and 12, an obvious punting down for the Bearcats. JT Pruitt said, let's get it, Lions. 
Game time as Hayden Elliman is going <laughs> to drop back deep for the Golden Lions to receive this punt. Tyler Sebo likes the Macho Man. Oh, uh, and I tell yeah. you, Macho Man, anytime I think of the Macho Man, I, th- I think about a friend, Sean Sinkhorn. Sean Sinkhorn is uh, – that's why I had to get my rock reference in there tonight as the Golden Lions has come back to Die House Stadium. It's going to be a really nice punt. It's going to be fielded by Hayden Elliman as he's got a good block Uh-oh. that time. Oh, my goodness. By Dave Nottery. He's out to the over, ha- over midfield oh, as it's going to be out to the Anderson County. 45-yard line where Gary, Clinton, Gary County will take over first and 10 in Bearcat territory. Lois Ray has checked in saying, let's go, GC. Tell you what, Jeff and Scott, man, I mean, I, you know, this community has been wanting a home game. Yeah, I tell you what, they it's, have. It's <laughs> came man, out, I'll be honest, I got coach yeah. chills. I mean, just the energy, the enthusiasm uh, that, that's in this stance tonight. You can see the, the, the team kind of playing with it on the sideline as well. A lot of emotion out there as on your Urban Group scoreboard, 10-21 to go as Gary County has got their first possession tonight as Parsons is going to hand it off to Malachi Simmons. He cuts it back up the middle. Going to get about three on the play as he'll be down to about the 42-yard line where it'll be second and seven for the Golden Lions. Zach Doan says, let's get it, boys. Helen Vickers, go Garrett. Let's go, GC. Brian Sweeney from the PVA office saying, let's go, GC. I wonder if Sweeney had his Mexican food today. He I likes, bet he did. He really likes going out there. I don't blame him. The only reason we know he's out there is because we always see him when we're <laughs> well, eating. It, uh. it, that's kind of what it takes, right, <laughs> to make sure he's there. Second and seven for the Golden Lions as freshman. Justin Parsons is starting his fourth game as a uh, varsity starter. As he's going to have twins out to the left, twins out to his right. As he puts Cam Peek, it's back from concussion protocol into motion. Malachi oh, Simmons go. gets the handoff. Not anywhere to go there. They bring up third and seven. So I tell you, you know, uh, I kind of put Cam Peek in a jet motion. What Garrett was wanting to do is those was wanting to get those inside linebackers to kind of widen out. Uh, and, and kind of go with uh, with the motion there. Uh, the inside linebackers didn't, so they did a great job stopping that play. But I bet Coach Crutchfield's taking a note on that, and at some point he's going to hit them with that jet sweep. Hey, we've got a Bearcat fan. Listed. We do. So Robert Hanks says, go Bearcats. Thanks for streaming Robert and showing Hanks. this game. We sure appreciate folks that, uh, that, that tune in from the other folks from the other uh, side as we really want to do good stuff uh, for all kids involved. Parsons on a busted play is going to take it out to the left. Trying to make one miss is not – Going to be back to the line of scrimmage. Going to bring up fourth and about seven. A little bit of a busted play well, there. I, I, I tell you, I, I don't think it hurt as bad as it might uh, might consider because I think it was a it was a pass play, play action pass. But I, it looked like a lineman or two kind of got downfield. Uh, and I think if Parsons throws that football, I think it's going to be a penalty against Garrett. So it's kind of one of those things. I kind of I think it's fortunate kind of how it worked out, you know, for Garrett. Josh Simpson has checked in saying, "Let's go, Garrett." Let's go, GC. Our man, Chuck Hunt. My God. Let's go, Cunt. Lions, man. We sure hope Heck you feel yeah. it. All right, Chuck. We can't wait for Chuck to get up here and uh, hang out with us. This is fourth and seven, fourth and eight for the Golden Lions. Cam Peek's going to go out in motion to the right. Parsons back to throw us. He's going to throw it to Cam Peek as he's open. As he's got a first down and more as he's to the 30, the 25, just short of the 25. As we'll say that's a Bob Allen first down as Gary County will have it first and 10 from the 26-yard line. Man, is it nice to have Cam Peek oh, back or what? Much. Yes, it is. I mean, man, yeah, he you know, definitely kind of adds a weapon there in the Gary County offense. And what we said a while ago was, you know, that jet motion, uh, the, those inside linebackers stayed disciplined. Well, what Gary did was, you know, Cam kind of went a little bit of a deeper motion. Uh, uh, and those linebackers kind of stayed there for Anderson County, but allowed Cam to kind of go out in the flats uh, and kind of get open with a big first down for Gary you County. You were right. Coach Crutchfield was uh, tuned in on that, on that fourth and seven play. First and ten, going lines as Parsons is going to give it to Peak off the left side, following Malachi off there. He's got a little bit of room as he gets there to make that corner kick, and that's going to be a touchdown. Gary County. Welcome Welcome back, Cam Peak. Boy, is it nice to have Cam back. And I'm going to tell you this, Cam did a great job running that football. The offensive line did a great job. I'm going to tell you, Houston Barnes had a phenomenal block there on the edge. Uh, and, and, you know, that, that block by Houston turned a tu- you know turned maybe a 15-yard gain into a touchdown run. Uh, so, man, great job by Houston Barnes on that block. Zach Daly in to attempt the extra point. German group scoreboard now reads 6 to, to six to 0. Gary County over Anderson County, 7.37 to go. Zach Daly is a sophomore, 6 for 6 on the year. As we're going to uh, have a late substitution coming in here as we didn't have enough guys on the field waiting the snap 
Snap is good. And down. And kick is up and good. Automatic. Seven for seven for Zach Daly. And with that, Trevor Groove scoreboard reads Garrett County 7, Anderson County 0. We'll be right back. You're listening to Garrett County Golden Lion Football and Golden Lion Sports Network. Bob Allen Motor Mall is a proud sponsor of Garrett County Football. Shop Bob Allen for a winning selection of new and pre-owned vehicles, all dealmaker priced. Click and save today at BobAllenMotorMall.com. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank understands family, tradition, community mean just a little bit more around here. You can see it and hear it. And that's why we take so much pride in what we do. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank. Your hometown friends, your hometown bank. Garrett County is our special place. And that's why Hunt Insurance Agency is proud to serve the insurance needs of local businesses, families, and individuals. We build relationships that last because getting to know you and your personal needs is what we do best. Hunt Insurance Agency. I'm Holly Peak with Exit Realty, your hometown realtor. I love seeing old friends and meeting new. Buying, selling, I know the value of our area. Our 3D virtual tour will sell your home fast. Like you, I'm sold on the Golden Lions. And welcome back, folks. Second kickoff tonight for the Gary County Golden Lions as not very much room there. Nathaniel Daugherty. As Nate Daugherty is down quickly. I got to see Nate today at the pep rally, and it was really cool because, like I said, I was his principal at Camden Dick Robinson, and man, has he grown. Yeah, I, you know, speaking of pep club, I yeah. mean, pep rally. I mean, we, rally. they had a special MC today. They did have a special MC yeah. today, uh, and they couldn't show up, so I ended up doing it. <laughs> uh, so we had a fantastic time. It was great. We, were, we went over the school fight song. Oh we goodness. went over some of the cheers that were going on so they could uh, get it back to them. So it was really cool. Excited? I mean, this is why there's so we're much energy all excited. In the they were all ready to get rid of me is why they were going to be here. First and 10, Bearcats from their own 40-yard line as Castle is in shotgun formation. As looking over the Gary County defense, as he's going to hand off to Higgins off the right side, as he's going to be oh, hammered oh, quickly oh, oh, oh. by Bullock <laughs> and Daugherty as maybe a loss of one. We'll say loss of one. Second and 11 from the 39-yard line. Seth Usley has checked in saying, let's go, boys. Let's go, GC. Dana Hensley saying, let's go, Garrett. Oh, yeah. Donnelly Barnes has checked in saying, let's go, Lions. Big and, D probably had to work tonight. Dog oh, on he him. is. He's working tonight. But listen, the big fifth and sixth grade team, I definitely want to give them a big a big shout out. They had a big win over Southern Plasky no in double overtime, no twelve doubt. to six wow. last week. And they week. play tomorrow morning. Play correct? tomorrow morning. So Aquarius Central. Appreciate everything that Donnelly's doing with Jonathan Elliman and Ricky Boyd on that staff. Great stuff. Is it second and eleven? Uh, shifting on there. At, excuse me, Anderson County Bearcats. They're going to hand it off to Higgins off the left side this time. Great job turning back inside as he's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage and a few more yards as that is Chandler Payne. That is the first one to him. Did a good job of kind of scraping over, making a big play right there. The one and only Diane Hunt saying, yeah, let's go GC. Hunt. Hey, I forgot just a minute ago, you talked about Dana Hensley. I think her nephew is Zach, uh, Zach Daly, if I'm not mistaken. See, I, I was slow on that. I was slow on that. It's been but a long I think day. It, it's been a long yeah. day. Third and about seven for the Anderson County Bearcats as it, they are from their own 43-yard line. Sharon Grimm saying, let's go, Garrett. Let's go, GC. All right, big third down right here, folks. Third and seven. Anderson County needs to get to the 50-yard line for a first down as – Eli Castle, sophomore, looking over as he's going to throw it this time. Screen. Has Higgins on the screen play, trying to get tracked down there by a couple of Gary County Golden Lions. It's going to be short. And, and folks, just look, look at this picture right here. All 11 defenders for Gary County is in that picture. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're talking about swarming to the ball right there, folks. Fourth down and about two or three. We'll say a long two as Anderson County looks like they're going to stay on the field. Uh, you, you kind of expect them to go for it here. You know, Anderson is one of these teams I don't think really plays well uh, real far behind. Uh, so I think they're really uh, kind of aware of that. They try to want to kind of stay kind of even with us or even with Gary County here tonight. I tell you, I, you know, Gary County needs to be have some eye discipline here, not jump off sides, be ready to when that ball snap, come off the ball, kind of push the offensive line in the back. Eli Castle still in shotgun formations. Higgins just off to his right. Now shifts to his left as Anderson County always uses lots of motion as 
Gary County jumps but does not get into. Good, Good job. Good job. There's going to be a timeout. Anderson County will take one, too, as it'll be their first time. You're listening to Gary County Go Live Football on Golden Lion Sports Network. Bob Allen Motor Mall is a proud sponsor of Garrett County Football. Shop Bob Allen for a winning selection of new and pre-owned vehicles, all dealmaker price. Click and save today at BobAllenMotorMall.com. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank understands family, tradition, community mean just a little bit more around here. You can see it and hear it. And that's why we take so much pride in what we do. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank. Your hometown friends, your hometown bank. Garrett County is our special place. And that's why Hunt Insurance Agency is proud to serve the insurance needs of local businesses, families, and individuals. We build relationships that last because getting to know you and your personal needs is what we do best. Hunt Insurance Agency. I'm Holly Peak with Exit Realty, your hometown realtor. I love seeing and welcome back, folks. A big fourth down play here for Anderson County Bearcats. Fourth and two as they're going to hand off to Higgins, trying to get up the middle as he gets the first down and maybe a couple yards more as he falls into Gary County territory. It's going to be first and ten Bearcats as he goes just off the left side is able to fall forward for about three. Tucker Vault's checked in saying, let's go, Lions. TV. He thinks we've got a future on ESPN. <laughs> Man, I tell you what. Yeah, well, I tell you I, what, Tucker is such a nice guy. I, I agree with him. He's I mean, such I a, I agree with him, too, but probably, like, you know, doing something in their cafeteria or something, probably not so broadcasting. Our, our, your boy Sammy Marcy has checked in for Fort Where Walton is Sammy Beach Marcy? saying, Come let's on, go, Sammy. GC. Come on, dude. What are you doing down there? We miss you up here. I don't have anybody to make fun of me. Uh, it's been awful quiet up here. As first and ten, Higgins going to get off the left side as he's going to get hit just after the line of scrimmage, but going to keep the feet churning for about three more, bring up second and five. So I tell you, Higgins is a nice running back from Anderson County. You can definitely kind of see, you know, kind of Higgins uh, is kind of their speed back. Yeah. Uh, and, and not only is he a speed back, what I've what I really been impressed with him is he hits it up in the middle uh, going kind of full speed. So, you know, nice running back for Anderson County. Uh, you know, Gary County, I'm sure, is going to make some adjustments to kind of get him slowed down. Just a sophomore, as both he and quarterback Castle are both sophomores uh, for the Anderson County Bearcats under the direction of Mark Palmer. And it's going to be second and five. Another shift. Awaiting the snap is Castle. So he's going to hand it to Higgins off the left side. Eltman tries to get up and gets blocked outside as he's going to get out, get a first down. Looks like, I uh, can't tell if he got out of bounds or not. No, it looks like he stayed in bounds as they move the chains. It'll be another first down, Anderson County. Donald Leathers has checked in saying, let's go Bearcats. Yes. He had his Casa Fiesta today. I tell you what, now, Casa Fiesta is a hidden gem. Uh, I don't know if you all have ever ate there or not, but it is first. I don't think I have. It I think is I'm going to really, have to try it. It is really good. I like to eat. We need to tell Brian you know? Sweeney, and we go over there and eat one night because it is really good. I'm sure Mr. Leathers would agree with us on that. First and ten, Bearcats. Cats as they continue on this uh, the eighth play of this drive. You know that you know Anderson County's got something going here, Scott. You know, like to see Gary County make a play, kind of get them behind the chains. Leathers a reverse, so actually a, a double handoff, an inside handoff as Castle gives to Leathers, or excuse me, gives to Higgins, who turns and gives to 23 Wilson uh, for a gain of about four, maybe five. Elijah Jones saying, go GC. Elijah was texting me earlier, yeah, making sure you, that Elijah. we were going to be on. He wanted to make sure he had the opportunity to watch the gold lines. B. Sebastian, let's go GC. Let's get that first win tonight. I tell you what, B. I said last week, this was our week. I called it. I put it out there. Uh, all, all of my high school football genius says we're winning tonight. It's second and about six for the Bearcats. Gary County really stacking the box, Coach, as you talked about it earlier. 
as the second shift as Higgins is going to get it off the right this side this time as he's going to be hit uh, first by Cam. Nice play uh, there on Cam the Peak, and it looks like Icing got to him quickly. So. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, this is big boy football. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, it's one of those things, uh, man, I, this is what I love about football. I mean, it's kind of, you know, we're, we're going to line up and we're going to come straight at you. Uh, so, on offense, you've got to be able to kind of match that physicality uh, to be able to kind of overcome that. And then, on uh, you know, uh, and then for Anderson County, you know, they're going to they're just going to kind of try to keep wearing down uh, the Gary County defense. Third and five for the Bearcats here on your Urban Group scoreboard. 139 to go here in the first quarter. Uh, it's going to be a whistle and timeout. Anderson County will take oh, one, too. This is Golden Lion Sports Network. I'm homeowner. I didn't know anything about the loan process, so that's why we decided to go with First Southern. process with First Southern was exactly how I pictured it. They were just very welcoming and made me feel like I had known them forever the minute that I walked through the door. Since 1967, Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers have helped folks with their farms, commercial property, auction needs, and of course, dream homes. The Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers, no one said. Since 1951, Danville Office Equipment has dedicated itself to providing personal service and superior office products for our customers. We take a lot of pride in their success because that's how we measure ours. Danville Office Equipment, Danville, Lebanon, and Somerset. Farmers National Bank believes investing in education is the best way to build a stronger community. Good luck to all the Garrett County students in the classroom and on the playing fields. Go Lions! And welcome back, folks, as we're just about to come out of the second timeout of the Anderson County Bearcats. Your Irving Group scoreboard reads Garrett County 7, Anderson County 0, 135 to go here in the first quarter. As uh, we were just bragging, Coach Man. and Jeff, our crowd is unbelievable, unbelievable. tonight. Unbelievable. This I mean, community's thirsty, you know, hungry and thirsty for some football. Anderson County brought a nice crowd to come I as agree. far as they did, but, man, Gary County and Lancaster has really showed out tonight, and we certainly appreciate that. Third and five for the Bearcats. Looking over the Gary County defenses, Castle going to give it to Higgins off the left side as he's going to be stopped and thrown backwards uh, by a bevy of Gary County going lines, but I think the first one to him there was 51. Is that Andrew Sparks? I think, yes, yes, yes. Sparks, Sparks. That's the first one to get his paw on him. And I that's exactly what he did. Andrew kind of stuck that paw, stuck that arm out, grabbed him with his hand, and kind of uh, took him down. And without a doubt, this is a this is four down territory for Anderson County. Uh, looks like it's about fourth and three, kind of a long three. So, again, Garrett County's got to be able, you know, the, the hard thing here is got to have eye discipline. You can't jump off sides, but you also got to be ready that as soon as that ball snap, when you're playing a, a physical uh, football team like Anderson County, as soon as that ball snap, man, you attack that offensive line and get some penetration. Really impressed with Higgins as he has a lot of burst out of the backfield. Uh, you have to pay attention to him at all times. Fourth and four as Higgins will go from the left to the right as Castle is going to hand off to Higgins this time as he's going to try to get to the left side. So he's going to be thrown down by Trenton Ison as he tracks him down from behind. What a great play by Trenton Ison. And I tell you, Scott, it was equally as a great play by Hayden Ellery. Yes, uh, keeping so, him inside. Well, that's right. So Hayden attacked that lead block. Uh, kind of blew the lead block up, and it kind of forced the uh, the runner inside. And what you said is exactly what Trent Nyson did a great job scraping, making a big tackle for Garrett County. First and 10, Garrett County with a turnover on downs. 38 seconds to go here in your first quarter. Garrett County continues to lead 7-0. to zero. Nikki so, Sima is, is our first Chandler Payne check-in. I mean, all we're, right. We're going to hey, get a couple, I guarantee you. They're behind. They're <laughs> usually by now. We've had three or four uh, Chandler Payne uh, check-ins. But they always say, let's go, GC. First and 10, Gary County. Got to be a flag on something there. I'm sure they look like a lot of movement. But Simmons is going to have it out just short of the first down. That's kind of a, a, a little bit of a late hit. Uh, but uh, it's going to be right at the first down marker. As can't really tell exactly where it's going to be. 29 seconds at this point. I think it's second and one. Waiting to see if it's going to be uh, continue. Yeah, second and one for the Gary County Golden Lions. Nancy Robinson has checked in saying, great job, GC. Great job, GC. Great to see Nancy and her husband. Uh, her husband doing great. Shane is doing much better on his procedure. Uh, so thankful that they are Keep back. Shane. Absolutely. Also, I, I remember seeing it just a minute ago, uh, talking about uh, Billy Goldsmith saying, uh, oh, big prayers goodness. back out for our main man, uh, Mr. McCain, as uh, he is 
is one of our favorite folks, and that's going to take us out to the end of the first quarter. Your Urban Group scoreboard reads Gary County 7, Anderson County 0. When we come back, Gary County will have the football second and one. You're listening to Golden Lions football here on Golden Lions Sports Network. Friendly service from people you know. That's Sutton Pharmacy. We are a hometown community pharmacy with old-fashioned values, experience, and the latest technology and resources. Sutton Pharmacy, dedicated to providing the very best for you. Go Lions! Toyota of Somerset has been serving and supporting our local communities. Trusted, loyal, dedicated, helpful, and consistent. Toyota of Somerset. Come see us. Whitaker Bank has always been more than just a bank. We're a locally owned, community driven institution made up of your friends and neighbors. And of course, Golden Lion fans just like you. Garrett County and Whitaker Bank, uniquely Kentucky, member FDIC. Hey, I'm Maria Montgomery, and you're watching Main Street Media TV. And welcome back, folks, as we're about uh, set to get the second quarter underway. Urban Groove scoreboard reads Gary County 7, Anderson County 0. Second and inches, let's say second and a yard for Gary County Golden Lions. Sherry Lane has checked in, and our favorite kicker is Zach Daly. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of relation there, folks, as they love old Zach. And putting in motion is Cam Smith as uh, the snap is going to hit Cam. And just a little bit of a timing issue. Well, you, you kind of mentioned that a while ago, Scott. The, the, the timing on that motion is, is, is a little bit off kilter. But I'll tell you what I think happened was it looked to me like. Anderson County. Yeah, it, it kind of looked like Anderson it County did. jumped off sides. It did. Uh, and, I, and I think, you know, uh, I, I think we Gary County snapped the ball thinking it was going to be a, a penalty on Anderson County and the, the flag just didn't get thrown. Third and seven for Gary County Golden Lions as they are at the 32-yard line. Uh, their own 32-yard line as Caleb Centers, the junior, leads the Gary County Gold Lions out of the huddle. A shotgun formation, a little pistol set is going to be Parsons as he's going to put Cam in motion. He's going to hand off to Simmons off the left side. Not much happening there uh, on third and seven. Looks like this will probably be a punting yeah, down punt formation. for and, Coach Crutchfield. You know, and I, I tell you what Gary's been doing uh, here lately, especially since Jagger Wood uh, has been injured, is uh, kind of letting Parsons kind of get in a little bit of a longer shotgun formation and kind right. of punting at himself. You know, that offensive series, the timing just looked a little bit off. It did. Uh, you know, for Gary County. Burke, Burke Floyd has checked in saying, let's go, Garrett, and we need to wish a special happy birthday to, to Rachel Rush Broadus. Yeah, happy, happy birthday, birthday, Rachel. From Main Street Media as Parsons is going to get a quick – Wow. A quick punt off, and he does a nice My job. Takes goodness. a really good Gary County kick as Houston Barnes is going to down it there right at the 29-yard line as that was about a 39-yard punt for uh, Justin Parsons. Yeah, and I think Coach Crutchfield was asking, you know, kind of a little bit for some clarification on, uh, you know, that 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 second down play kind of looked like either it was offsides on Garrett or offsides on Anderson. Uh, I'm not exactly – uh, sure which one there. So, Danny Elam has checked in. And, Danny, Big I agree D. with you. Danny loves these uniforms. Absolutely. They look awesome. Uh, you know, I, I think uh, this is this is kind of what uh, the the color scheme that we had in mind for, for years ago. The issue with it a lot of times is the cardinal red is a lot of it's, – it's hard to get consistency yeah, amongst uh, other places. And when you're buying sports gear, cardinal red has a, a tendency to get a little darker, a little lighter – different places first and 10 for the Bearcats as they have Castle again in shotgun formation as Higgins there to his left the scat back as they're going to shift about six people there as there's going to be a flag this is going to be a delay of game Anderson County and, and you know you know things like that's kind of a big deal I think for Anderson County uh, you know Anderson County's offense is all predicated on, on gaining three, four yards and kind of wearing the defense down. You know, when you get you get Anderson behind the chains, I don't think their offense functions uh, quite as well. Jesse Bourne has checked in saying go Garrett County. Jesse Bourne, I think that's Gordon Bourne.
worn out on Little Dixie as Gordon has seen many, many Gary County athletic events over the years, and he is always saying, let's go GC. First and 15 for the Bearcats as there is their shift. I'm actually going to stop saying that tonight, <laughs> Coach. This looks like they're doing it a bunch as Eli is going to roll out to his right, looking to throw it as he's going to have two guys there, and it could be picked off. No, it's oh caught. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh. No, incomplete pass. Incomplete it's pass. It's an incomplete pass is what the back judge is calling Great it. Great call. As it looked like it was tipped twice, I actually thought we came up with it, and then Anderson County came up with it, but not until it hit the ground. So Higgins' mama has checked hey, in here in Ms. Lawrenceburg. Higgins. She's saying, let's go, boys. I tell you what, it, it's really cool, like we talk about, getting the opportunity for Gary County folks to watch the folks, but also the visitors being able to come in and, and, and watch their kids, watch their family, just watch the people that they're pulling for. Uh, that's a really neat deal. Yeah, no, you know, Cindy Rogers is saying that, you know, she really appreciates the sponsors kind of making this possible. That's folks, right. again, thank these sponsors out. You're seeing their commercials. Uh, they're in the timeouts. Thank them for uh, their investment in kind of making this uh, you know, kind of making this broadcast a possibility. Second and 15 for the Bearcats. Urban Group scoreboard rates Gary County 7, Anderson County 0, as Castle is going to give it this time to number 23, Wilson, off the right side or left side as he's going to finally be ran out of bounds. Uh, looks like he's going to be right at the first down marker. Looks like he may have it. Yeah. He's going to have a first down. It's going to be first and 10 for the Anderson County Bearcats. Yeah, and I tell you, Scott, you know, Anderson County has kind of had that motion and not done a whole lot with it. Well, that time they kind of gave the ball to Wilson. He kind of took advantage of it and picked up a big first down for Anderson County. First and 10, Anderson County Bearcats from their own 42-yard line as Garrett County continues defensively to bend but not break as they are just trying to get a feel for what this Anderson County offense uh, is going to do. It, it always has a lot of motion to it, a lot of movement, pre-snap movement, as this time it's going to be uh, not 100% sure what uh -oh. happened there as the ball is to number three as he is going to be gone. Wow. Uh, touchdown. I'm really not well, sure. It, you know, the, so this offense is is a, is a, is a predicated on physicality, but it's also built on a little bit of deception. You know, you, you mentioned earlier the running backs are handing the ball off to one another in the backfield. And i tell you what I think happened is I think the handoff uh, got made uh, to to the Anderson County running back there, and I think it was uh, well, we don't have a number three on our roster. No, everything went left, yeah, and, and, and somehow yeah. Anderson I think County he running back. Me out, it's kind of like the old fumble yeah. Ruski, I think I lost is what it. happened. Yep. You yep. know, uh, he took off to the right. Yep, and I wasn't exactly sure what happened, uh, but the end result is a touchdown. Anderson County Urban Group scoreboard reads: Gary County seven, Anderson County six. Anderson County is going to keep the offense on the field, trying to punch. <laughs> Uh, Two-point conversion in as Castle is under center. He's going to hand it off this time to Higgins off the right side as he gets. That's got to be a hold, isn't it, or something? As it looks like uh, one of our guys just got absolutely slammed as that's going to be a two-point conversion. And your Urban Group scoreboard now reads Anderson County 8, Garrett County 7. 10.03 to go here in the second quarter. We'll take one-minute break. This is Garrett County Golden Lion football on Golden Lion Sports Network. Bob Allen Motor Mall is a proud sponsor of Garrett County football. Shop Bob Allen for a winning selection of new and pre-owned vehicles, all dealmaker priced. Click and save today at BobAllenMotorMall.com. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank understands family, tradition, community mean just a little bit more around here. You can see it and hear it. And that's why we take so much pride in what we do. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank. Your hometown friends, your hometown bank. Garrett County is our special place. And that's why Hunt Insurance Agency is proud to serve the insurance needs of local businesses, families, and individuals. We build relationships that last because getting to know you and your personal needs is what we do best. Hunt Insurance Agency. I'm Holly Peak with Exit Realty, your hometown realtor. I love seeing old friends and meeting new. Buying, selling, I know the value of our area. Our 3D virtual tour will sell your home fast. Like you, I'm sold on the Golden Lions. 
And welcome back, folks. Eight to seven is your score on the Irving Group scoreboard. Anderson County kicking off to Gary County. 10 3 to go here in the second quarter as it's going to be a little bit of a lob kick that Simmons is going to field on the left side as he continues to run and shed tacklers as he makes his way out <laughs> to the Gary County 42-yard line where it'll be first and 10, yep. Golden Lions. Yeah, so, you know, Gary County's got to bounce back. You know, uh, you know, one of the things, folks, that, that we've talked a lot about in the first four or five weeks, and this is not to make excuses, even though it kind of sounds like an excuse. Uh, man, I tell you, you know, Gary County's kind of had some controversial calls go go in their way. You know, I was watching the game last week in Tifton, Georgia, and, Jeff, the, your camera angle was perfect. And, and at the end of the day, there was space between the ball and the, the – the, the yard line, and they called, you know, they, they the, the white hat gave them a first down. Uh, and, and Scott said it best. The individual looked on the ground, looked at the white hat, and couldn't really believe that he had called oh, it a yeah. first down. Me either. First and 10, Gary County as Cam Peak's going to get it off the right side as he's going to be hit after the gain of about two. He'll be driven back. But forward progress will give him maybe just one, according to where the sideline judge is. So that'll be second and nine, Gary County. So the reason I said that is on that two-point conversion, you know, and we have the ability to kind of watch this. You know, our, our, our broadcast is on a little bit of a delay. Uh, so we kind of have the chance to kind of watch a replay. And, you know, Gary Defender got tackled uh, out there on the perimeter. So I think Coach Crutchfield was kind of asking about kind of what happened happened out there. But at the end of the day, you got to play through it. Got to play uh, through you it. Know, you can't make excuses, and, and you just got to play through it and kind of bounce back and do the best job you can. Second and nine as Parsons is going to give it to Malachi Simmons this time. The ball in the blocking of Mason Sula. What a great block by Mason Sula. That's the first down and more as Mason Sula absolutely blew that kid up. Yeah, he, he drove him back about 15 yards. Uh, and, and, you know, without a doubt, again, kind of talking about the, the you know, some, some unfortunate calls that's kind of went against Garrett County. You know, Mason got ejected against Middlesbrough. Yeah. Uh, and at the end of the day, you know, what, what was in the qualification report and what was on film was not, not the match. same. And uh, so, unfortunately, uh, you know, the KHSA has a standing policy that they don't overturn, overturn what they consider to be a judgment call. Uh, so, uh, it's great to see Mason back out there. And I tell you what, Mason's playing like he missed yes, these last two games and excited to be on the field. First and 10, Gary County can peak in motion as Parsons is going to hand off to Malachi Simmons. So, uh, yeah, get a rough one or two yards. Going to bring up second and eight for Garrett County. As it's nice, like we said, just to kind of get most of our guys back. Oh, I know Austin Adams, Austin Adams and Asher Dunn, we're, we're not going to be able to have them for the remainder uh, of the year. But having Camp Peak out of a protocol, or a concussion protocol, having Mason Sula back uh, really makes a difference. Yeah, no doubt about that. And our friend Jeremy Bull has checked in. JB. Saying, let's go GC. I tell you what, I always knew he was a deep down. He was a Gary County fan. I, I agree. Yeah, you know, I just always knew it. He doesn't like to I'll admit it. I spent a lot of time with Jeremy he last like to admit it. Second and nine, Gary County as they're going to give it to Cam Peak up the right side as he's going to cut back, makes one person miss as he's going to end up being driven back again. Wow. But another, let's say another yard that they're going to get. Bring up third and about eight. They're in four down territory. As Coach Hester is a, a defensive, uh, the defensive coordinator, but he's yelling instructions at offensive line uh, or somebody out there. Yeah, no doubt. Donna Freeman has checked in saying, let's go. Let's go. Cassie Goldie's checked in. Saying so great to see Shelby back on the sidelines, coaching back home in Garrett County. Boy, oh, I, I agree with that. I couldn't agree with that more. Cassie is uh, it's great to see brother Shelby there, and uh, he's down there right now working with the working with the uh, uh, folks. Is uh, he's in charge uh, of the offensive lines, and I mean does, he does such a good job. As Parsons this time is going to throw one out to Hayden Elman. What, what a move. great move to make somebody miss. As he's following the blocking there of the Garrett County Golden Line teammates, that's Houston Barnes with another great block downfield. Wow. Not only that, as Mason Sula was looking for somebody to hit down there. I think they were getting out of the way. <laughs> I, don't <laughs> I don't blame them. I don't blame them. So, That's a Bob Allen first down, Gary County first and ten. So, I tell you what, Scott, you know, one of the things that I love the work that Freddie Magger does uh, for – uh, Jeff's favorite friend, uh, Matt Jones at Kentucky Sports Radio. Uh, and one of the things he always talks about is, is there a difference between being a love and playing football and being a football player? That's right. You know, uh, and I'm going to tell you, Hayden Edelman loves playing football. He does. Man, you can just tell by the way Hayden Edelman plays, he loves playing this game. First and 10, Camp Peak gets it running up the middle, a hard four or five yards. Really nice job that time, staying in front of the chains. Urban Group scoreboard reads Anderson County 8, Gary County 7, 6.45 to go here in the second quarter. We've had another Anderson County Bearcat parent check-in, Rick Griffith, saying yeah. let's go Bearcats, like let's go Connor that. Schultz. 
Yeah, I love seeing those parents from the opposite team getting the chance to uh, to do that. For whatever reason, they, they don't get the opportunity to see it in person. This is great that they get the opportunity to watch it online. Section and five, Gary County as Parsons trying to draw Anderson County offside, staying very fundamental. They're going to have Garrett. a timeout, Gary County, and we'll take one, too. This is the Golden Lion Sports Network. I'm homeowner. I didn't know anything about the loan process, so that's why we decided to go with First Southern. The process with First Southern was exactly how I pictured it. They were just very welcoming and made me feel like I had known them forever the minute that I walked through the door. Since 1967, Urban Group Realtors and Auctioneers have helped folks with their farms, commercial property, auction needs, and of course, dream homes. The Urban Group Realtors and Auctioneers, no one sells it better. Since 1951, Danville Office Equipment has dedicated itself to providing personal service and superior office products for our customers. We take a lot of pride in their success because that's how we measure ours. Danville Office Equipment, Danville, Lebanon, and Somerset. Farmers National Bank believes investing in education is the best way to build a stronger community. Good luck to all the Garrett County students in the classroom and on the playing fields. Go Lions! After the time out, Gary County has the football. And welcome back, folks. Second and six for Gary County Golden Lions. As freshman quarterback, Justin Parsons, looking over the Anderson County Bearcats defense as he's going to hand off to Cam Peak that's going to cut it back up the middle, going to get yeah, just, get a couple, three or four yards, going to be short by about a yard, bring up a very manageable third and one. You know, I tell you what, great block right there by Caleb Sinners. Uh, you know, as the center kind of snapping that football, kind of worked his guy kind of away, kind of opened up a big hole for Peak to pick up some plus yardages and kind of set Garrett up in this manageable third down. Coach, maybe your biggest fan I know, Alan Pickett. I has love Alan Pickett. I tell yep. you what, he's such a good dude. He and Tammy, his lovely wife, which uh, teaches now at our middle school, uh, and they are such great people. From Alabama. From Alabama, Alabama. Listening in as busted play, as Parsons is going to keep it and get the first down. I be think a little short. he's going to be right at the marker. Let's see here. I think he's a little short. A little short. Depends on if the Western Hills crew come in. <laughs> if they come in, I think that's a first down. Flip a court, right? It's going to be fourth and about one for Garrett County. Looks like that was a little bit of a busted play as Parsons went one way, running back went the other, but uh, had enough wherewithal about himself to tuck it and at least get a yard or so. As Urban Group scoreboard reads, Garrett County trails Anderson County 8-7, to 5.05 to go here in the second quarter. Huge fourth down as Simmons to the right, peak to the left. As that's going to be a timeout. Timeout. Anderson, Anderson County. County. Let's keep it right here because this is a big play. So fourth and one, just a little game reset. Gary County trails eight to seven. Gary County scored on a Cam Peak rumble on the left side. Anderson County scores on a trick play and is able to uh, punch two in, which makes it eight to seven. Not to forget uh, Zach Daly's extra point for the Gary County Golden Lions. You know, I tell you, Scott, I feel pretty good about Gary County so far in this game. I appreciate uh, hometownlive.net and WRNZ kind of covering our, our game here tonight as well. Uh, you know, I kind of feel pretty good about where Gary Kane's at right now. I mean, Gary Kane's kind of been able to kind of control uh, the, you know, the kind of Anderson County offense with the exception of that, right. that kind of that trick play that Anderson County kind of busted for a big first down. You know, Mark Stoops, which is the king of football. Right. right? Uh, and uh, I'll tell you a little story, Jeff. So, you know, I was at the game down. You know, do I look you remind tan? me to get a Florida, uh, do I look Florida tan? State, Louisville. Yeah, I, I, look, I look a little tan, don't I, from my Florida trip. Well, when Coach Stoops walked <laughs> off the field and stood in front of the Kentucky section, the, the Kentucky fans started chanting football school. Yeah, there you go. So, I mean, they, they made I mean, their attention pretty it. loud and clear. If they say it, fourth and one, Gary County going lines, a shotgun formation is Parsons. Simmons just off to his left. The familiar wing T is going to be uh, given to Simmons, going to turn it back up to the middle. It's going to get a wow. first down as he absolutely <laughs> flattens one so, Anderson County Bearcat. So, I tell you, I, I think if he follows Sula, Malachi might go in the end zone. But I'm going to tell you something, folks. At the end of the day, you had to get the first down. That's right. Uh, so when Malachi got on the perimeter, he did a phenomenal job of turning his shoulders, and he said, I'm getting this first down. Uh, and, man, what a powerful run by Malachi Simmons. Man, it has been 
wonderful to kind of see him blossom here in the last couple of weeks here. Yes, it has. Uh, to yeah. a big threat for Garrett County. No doubt about it. 4.45 to go here in the second quarter on your Irving Group scoreboard. Anderson County leads 8-7. to seven. Parsons hands off to Peek on the left side following the blocking of that left side. I'll tell you what, Peek Good runs run. hard too as he really didn't have much there and he fights for three, possibly four. They're going to bring up second and seven for the Garrett County Golden Lions. So, so but before I got, uh, before I end up getting written down a loophole about Mark Stoops, yeah. uh, you know, Coach Stoops always talks about the middle eight, uh, that, that the middle eight is really important and if you win the middle late you have an opportunity to kind of really win the game and what he means by that is the last four minutes of the second quarter the first uh, four minutes uh, of the third quarter so that's kind of you know Gary Kane's kind of entering in that territory right here Parsons awaiting the snap as this time he's going to hand off to Malachi Simmons off the left, right side as he's following uh, the blocking of Andrew Sparks Mason Sula looks like Hayden Element Going to gain about uh, five as it'll bring up third and five for the Gary County Golden Lions. What do you guys think of the new helmet down there? Man, hey, I, I like it. it. Huh? My goodness, how awesome. Look and at I that. tell you, That's big really shout cool. out to West Peak. Uh, you know, West Peak, uh, you know, Cam Peak's dad, and uh, West uh, is a Gary County graduate, owns a couple of businesses, Snowy Ice being, uh, you know, kind of operates Snowy Ice. He really wanted to get that helmet going. That's great. It. And my yep. gosh, look how cool that is. It is I very cool. It. Third and five, Gary County. Parsons awaiting the snap. Parsons this time is going to hand off to Malachi. He slips what just a, a little bit, but continues to fight hard as that's going to be a uh, just it's shy going to be fourth and one again. of first down, but that's going to be fourth and one from about the six-yard line yeah. or so, eight-yard line, according to Shelby. Yeah, maybe it's fourth and two, kind of a kind of a long yard, maybe about yard and a half to two yards. You know, at, at the end of the day, you know, I really kind of anticipate getting the ball back in Malachi Simmons' hand running behind big number 77 for Gary County. Just under three minutes to go here in the second quarter. Gary County continues to trail 8-7 to seven on your Urban Group scoreboard. Cam Peak flanks on the left. Malachi Simmons on the right. Parsons puts Peak in motion. Awaiting the snap, and we're going to have a timeout, Gary, Gary County. County, and we'll take one, too. This is Gary County Golden Lion football on Golden Lion Sports Network. Friendly service from people you know. That's Sutton Pharmacy. We are a hometown community pharmacy with old-fashioned values, experience, and the latest technology and resources. Sutton Pharmacy, dedicated to providing the very best for you. Go Lions! Toyota of Somerset has been serving and supporting our local communities. Trusted, loyal, dedicated, helpful, and consistent. Toyota of Somerset. Come see us. Whitaker Bank has always been more than just a bank. We're a locally owned, community driven institution made up of your friends and neighbors. And of course, Golden Lion fans just like you. Garrett County and Whitaker Bank, uniquely Kentucky, member FDIC. Hey, I'm Maria Montgomery, and you're watching Main Street Media TV. Fourth and two for Gary County as Gary County is going to call their last time out. And we'll keep it right here, Coach. It looked like that uh, Coach Crutchfield didn't like the look of something out there. Uh, had to be the alignment, uh, I assume, but something that he didn't really like well, and uh, I mean, was out there. And I tell you what, big time play here. You know, your group oh, yeah. scoreboard has Anderson County 8, Gary County 7, two minutes and 38 seconds left here in the second quarter. Uh, so, man, if you're not – if you don't love exactly everything that you're seeing, you kind of – think it's a wise the, – the, oh, right. the, the, the call that timeout uh, and kind of play, uh, kind of run a play that you feel real confident in. Tell us what's coming up at halftime, Coach, as we always are I known you, for our fantastic halftime shows. And I, So, I tell you, we got three things coming up. I love three the things. The award-winning Gary Kenny Marching Band. That's one. Uh, will be performing at halftime tonight. We've got our great sponsor, Holly Peak from Exit yes, Realty, uh, Gary Peak County stuff. graduate, yeah. uh, that will be joining us uh, at halftime. And then we've got Alex Freeman. Yes. Yeah. I love mean, Alex you know, the, Freeman. The, the, the Lawrenceburg's the home of the Freemans. Yeah, but Gary County is his graduation yes, home. Gary As County he graduated graduate. from Gary County, so we're going to go ahead and uh, and make sure you guys know that. For, fourth and two, Gary County from the six-yard line. Malachi Simmons lone set back here, waiting the snap. As he's going to hand off to Simmons. He's going to Cut it back to the left side. Get in there. Makes one Get in there. Yes. Touch. Down. Oh. Get it, County. As Malachi Simmons on a huge fourth and two from wow. the six. 
gets in to score for Gary County. And a, what a great play, Coach. Yeah, I tell you, great play. Houston Cloud doing a great job blocking there. Caleb Centers, Andrew Sparks, uh, just kind of a total team effort on that uh, from that offensive line, uh, kind of getting a push from Anderson County. Malachi, man, he ran with a purpose. He did. Uh, with, with the football right there. Zach Daly in to attempt the extra point. Hayden Elliman is the holder. Good snap. Kick is wow. up, and it is good. My goodness. As it bounces <laughs> off the helmet, that is 8-4-8 eight for, eight for Zach Daly. Your Urban Group scoreboard reads Gary County 14, Anderson County 8, 2.32 to go here in the second quarter. We'll take a one-minute break. We'll be back. This is Golden Lion Sports Network. Bob Allen Motor Mall is a proud sponsor of Garrett County Football. Shop Bob Allen for a winning selection of new and pre-owned vehicles, all dealmaker priced. Click and save today at BobAllenMotorMall.com. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank understands family, tradition, community mean just a little bit more around here. You can see it and hear it. And that's why we take so much pride in what we do. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank. Your hometown friends, your hometown bank. Garrett County is our special place. And that's why Hunt Insurance Agency is proud to serve the insurance needs of local businesses, families, and individuals. We build relationships that last because getting to know you and your personal needs is what we do best. Hunt Insurance Agency. I'm Holly Peak with Exit Realty, your hometown realtor. I love seeing old friends and meeting new. Buying, selling, I know the value of our area. Our 3D virtual tour will sell your home fast. Like you, I'm sold on the Golden Lions. And welcome back, folks, as we have a uh, little pooch kick that Anderson County is going to field. That was number 81 that fielded that, Malachi Zeller as he is a 5'10 senior, be first and 10, Anderson County. Audrey Nichols has checked Dr. in. Nich- I'm saying, telling come you, on, GC I'm Lines. glad, I'm glad I- she's still <laughs> wanting to speak to us after the kind of shellacking that the powerful, Gary, or excuse me, Kentucky Wildcats, Wildcats. went down to and, the you know, swamp. I had just, good sportsmanship down there. just dominated. Yeah, I shook everybody's hands. Oh, that's so nice of you. Told them, good that's job, so Florida. That's so nice of you. I, I mean, I, you know, Audrey has so many great things going about for I can't believe that's the one thing. she's such a great person and likes the stinky Florida Gators. Jeez. That's okay. We've got time to work on her first. Is that better than Louisville? <laughs> yes. Uh, absolutely. Uh, wow. uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, they're better than Louisville, but not by much. First and 10, Anderson County, as Eli Castle is going to have in shotgun formation. A little bit of a busted play here. So he's going to be run down by Andrew Sparks oh, oh, big for play. a loss of about eight. <laughs> As Castle looked to hand off to his right, no one was there as Andrew Sparks was able to run him down from behind. Going to bring up second and 16 for the Anderson County Bearcats. 2.09 to go here in the second quarter. So, Katie Workmeister has checked in saying, let's go, let's Garrett. Let's go, GC. Chantel Schwartz has checked in saying, let's go, GC. Tell you what, I love it, man. All love these all of our, our folks checking in with And, us. you know, having 100 people or oh, more watching tonight with such a massive crowd, crowd yeah. here. This is great stuff. It's going to be a handoff to Higgins off the right side as he's got lots of room over there. Makes two or three people miss. He's going to get about 10 or 11 back past the original line of scrimmage. Going to be short of the first down by about five or six. Man, I tell you, I love, I love watching Higgins run the football. Oh, he runs Scott. it really I mean, hard. He, he, he's a really talented young man for Anderson County. Speed up here by Anderson County as Castle is going to hand it to Higgins again off the right side. Tries to find a little area off the middle to cut it back to. Not much there that time as he falls Trent as Nyson. it'll be fourth down by a tackle of Trent and Nice. And, and I tell you, when you got a speedy running back like Higgins, that's what you do, right? You tackle him right. before he's able to kind of bust out in the open there. So great job uh, by Trent Nice. And we've seen Trent absolutely everywhere on the field uh, for Garrett County. So what Anderson County will do right here, Scott, is they're going to run the clock down. They know Garrett County's out of timeouts. Garrett's going. Anderson County will kind of punt the football. And I think Coach Crutchfield's pretty comfortable kind of going in the halftime uh, on the Irvin Group scoreboard up 14 to 8 here with 50 seconds left here in the second quarter. Garrett gets the ball first. We get the uh, football uh, back. Uh, in the third quarter. That's exactly well, actually, right. Anderson County's in. Anderson County's going for it. Get back up there, Hayden Elman. We need you defensively. As they're going to go for it, fourth and five. As Castle's looking to throw the football, as he has an open receiver, is just <laughs> outside. And I tell you what, Coach, still time, 32 seconds oh, yeah. left. It's, it's, you know, and I mean, hey, 
I love I love taking chances. Oh, love yeah. the aggression. However, now you give Garrett County with you know uh, Garrett County to have any timeouts. Uh, now you give Garrett County the ball uh, on, on the Anderson County what 36 yard line, no timeouts, uh, and now instead of going in the halftime comfortable uh, being up 14-8. Now, now Coach Crutchfield definitely kind of uh, has a little bit different strategy here. He definitely wants to kind of attack uh, and see if Gary County can take advantage of this field position. I'd love to see. I love to see a touchdown, but I'd also Zach love to see Daly. how strong Zach Daly's leg is. I agree. Right I here. talked to Coach Crutchfield today. He said he feels very comfortable with Zach Daly from at least 35 yards. Uh, so uh, we're only about 10 yards away from that as Parsons overlooking the Anderson County defense. He's going to put Cam Peek in motion out the right side. Going to throw a one out to the right as Peek going to be able to make the catch as he doesn't have much there. As they got to get to the line quickly. If yeah, but you don't have any timeouts. With no timeouts, 20 seconds to go. I think Coach Crutchfield is going to go ahead and eat this one as he's uh, he's very content to just go into the halftime leading and we are right that's where we'll go as that was the last play here of the first half we're gonna go into the halftime your Irving Group scoreboard is gonna read Gary County Golden Lions 14 Anderson County Bearcats 8 we'll be back in three minutes with our special guest Miss Holly Peak as we're excited to have Miss Holly with us as she's going to sit and talk to us just a little while about the fantastic things going on with her. You're listening to Gary County Golden Lion Football on Golden Lion Sports Network. I'm homeowner. I didn't know anything about the loan process, so that's why we decided to go with First Southern. The process with First Southern was exactly how I pictured it. They were just very welcoming and made me feel like I had known them forever the minute that I walked through the door. Since 1967, Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers have helped folks with their farms, commercial property, auction needs, and of course, dream homes. The Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers, no one sells it better. Since 1951, Danville Office Equipment has dedicated itself to providing personal service and superior office products for our customers. We take a lot of pride in their success because that's how we measure ours. Danville Office Equipment. Danville, Lebanon, and Somerset. Farmers National Bank believes investing in education is the best way to build a stronger community. Good luck to all the Garrett County students in the classroom and on the playing fields. Go Lions! Friendly service from people you know. That's Sutton Pharmacy. We are a hometown community pharmacy with old-fashioned values, experience, and the latest technology and resources. Sutton Pharmacy, dedicated to providing the very best for you. Go Lions! Toyota of Somerset has been serving and supporting our local communities. Trusted, loyal, dedicated, helpful, and consistent. Toyota. Come see us. Whitaker Bank has always been more than just a bank. We're a locally owned, community driven institution made up of your friends and neighbors. And of course, Golden Lion fans just like you. Garrett County and Whitaker Bank, uniquely Kentucky, member FDIC. Hey, I'm Maria Montgomery, and you're watching Main Street Media TV. And welcome back, folks. It is halftime here at Die House Stadium as we have about 13 minutes to go as the Gary County. Let's say, let me rephrase that. Award-winning Award Gary County Dr. marching Vance. band under the direction of Dr. Vance is about to perform their show here at halftime. We have one of our fantastic sponsors, Miss Holly Peak. Miss Holly, thank you so much thank you, uh, for joining us, and thank you for your sponsorship. We so appreciate it. Without folks like you and our other sponsors, this would not be possible. They couldn't see the silliness of what we do. <laughs> but yes. most importantly, professionalism. That's yes. what I look at it. But most importantly, we couldn't get to see the great stuff of these Gary County athletes. So thank you so much. Thank you all. It's a pleasure. Well, we certainly appreciate it. And we do know, before we get talking about business, there's a little bit of a connection with you <laughs> and the Gary County Golden Lions. Tell us a little bit about your connection. Yeah, so I just want to give out a shout-out to Cameron Peak, number 21. Number 21. Oh, big Cam. Yes, that's my first-born nephew, and we're so proud. Uh, my whole family's here tonight supporting him and supporting the Golden Lions. Well, we're so excited 
excited to have you. We're so excited to have Cam, and yes. we appreciate all that you all do. Now let's talk a little bit about, first and foremost, Gary County graduate. Yes, right. 2003. 2003. Wow. Yes. I was actually a teacher hey, back then. I, I you had were. more hair. You had you more have hair. hair? I, Do you remember having hair? Yes. I had <laughs> some hair. I don't know how much hair, but I had some hair. Uh, but that was way back in the day. And so then you went away for a while. Yeah, so I went to Elizabethtown uh -huh. not long after school, and that's actually where I started real estate. Fantastic. And then you came back home. Came back. I came back home. So I've got... Um, a son who's Gary turned seven. His Great. name is Jake. Great. Jake, that's I, my, my name of my son. Is okay. it? Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Great minds, right? Yeah, great yes. minds think alike, Holly. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And he's already doing super well in school. Fantastic. He got uh, top 2% nationwide I in love math it. and top 4% nationwide in, in reading. Now, Wes was taking credit for that. No. Yeah. He, he, he told me today, he told me two <laughs> things. He said he talked about how unbelievable smart he is. Yes. Uh, and he was, honestly, he was bragging about that. The other thing he told me was how big of a football fan you are. Big yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. and I mean, he said you are all about football. Yes. Uh, so so I'm, I guarantee it, you're excited to not only cheer on Cam, but get the chance to kind of watch Jake play oh, uh, yes. at some point, right? Definitely, yeah, and I'm a, a seasoned uh, UK ticket holder as well. Oh, yeah. Well, that makes yes. two of us right <laughs> there tomorrow. <laughs> yes. That's right, we'll be there tomorrow. He's 12 o'clock. <laughs> he's a ticket holder. Yes. Yeah. I am a professional tailgater. Folks. I go and eat whatever he I, brings. And I might leave um, here and go on up there. Well, I'm going to have to find you all. <laughs> well, come on, the UK yes. Ag Good Bar. Yeah, he'll okay. tell you. I'm not a Anybody that's listening can come join my tailgate at so, the UK Good Bar. So let's tomorrow. talk Sounds just a little good. bit about Holly. So what got you into real estate? So there had to be something that eventually that thought, you know what, this may be my deal. Mm -hmm. Kind of what was it for you that kind of got you into real estate and got you on that path? Well, I really like entrepreneurship, oh, and yeah. I've always wanted to kind of um, have my own business. Yeah. And I was in the medical field before. I actually served at Garrett EMS as well Did back in really? my 20s. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I've been a CNA, but I just want, I like the leadership. Right. And um, so I'm kind of working maybe towards seeing about getting a brokerage here. Oh, well, great. Sometime. That, but, so yeah. what what is it about coming home? Now, the Gary line. County Go yes. Line. Yes. I'm a Gary County Gary Go County Line. You are as well. Mm -hmm. What's it like for you to, to bring your business back to your hometown? I mean, mm -hmm. there's a special pride about that, right? Yes, it feels really good oh, yeah. just to reconnect, you know, with, with people, uh, you know, over the years that you lose connections with and, you know, just meeting new friends. And I really give it my 100% and I sure. want it to be a good client experience for everyone. No no doubt. And yeah. that's what that's what we like about Gary County, right? Is mm -hmm. the personal relationships that you either have created and you get to continue to create right. or that you're creating new. Right. Uh, and, and that's that's the great stuff. So tell us a little bit about your business. Uh, folks that may not know anything about your business, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about other than what you see on that awesome commercial uh, uh, that, that Jeff awesome. made for you. Yes. Yeah, tell us a little bit about your business that people may not know anything about? Uh, well, I'm with Exit Realty Bold Move, and we're one of the fastest growing franchises uh, in North America. We have over 20 locations in Kentucky wow. currently. Um, I've been doing it since 2017. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we're all about culture. We always put the people first, and right. we always say you put the people first and the money will follow. That's right. That's so right. That's, that's what we focus on, and that's why I like to stay there because we're more of a family right. union. Well, so. I'll tell you, we're so glad that folks oh, like man. you come back to Gary so County. Uh, you know, you look around, and the folks that, that we have that are from here, mm -hmm. that makes our makes our community so, so good and yeah. makes it what it is and what it's going to continue to prosper. It's going to continue to get better because of folks like you. Thank uh, you. We thank you so oh, much. Appreciate we, you, Holly. We thank, thank you for you everything. So We're looking forward to seeing Jake here in the next, yes. like, I, I don't know, know, five or six years. I know. I'm rooting for him. Trust <laughs> me. I love some football. Go Lions. Go, Go Lions. Lions. That's Miss Holly Peak, one thank of our fantastic sponsors. Thank we'll you. take another break, and we'll be back. This is Gary County Go Lion Football on Golden Lion Sports Network. Bob Allen Motor Mall is a proud sponsor of Garrett County Football. Shop Bob Allen for a winning selection of new and pre-owned vehicles, all dealmaker priced. Click and save today at BobAllenMotorMall.com. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank understands family, tradition, community mean just a little bit more around here. You can see it and hear it. And that's why we take so much pride in what we do. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank. Your hometown friends, your hometown bank. 
Garrett County is our special place. And that's why Hunt Insurance Agency is proud to serve the insurance needs of local businesses, families, and individuals. We build relationships that last because getting to know you and your personal needs is what we do best. Hunt Insurance Agency. I'm Holly Peak with Exit Realty, your hometown realtor. I love seeing old friends and meeting new. Buying, selling, I know the value of our area. Our 3D virtual tour will sell your home fast. Like you, I'm sold on the Golden Lions. And welcome back, folks. We're going to take just a minute and let you watch the award-winning Gary County Golden Lion Marching Band under the direction of Professor Dr. Vance. Welcome back, folks, as that is our Gary County award-winning marching band. As now moving in with us, right on my right is Miss Andrea Barnes. She's so excited to be on she's camera. She's so excited. I, I know she's nervous when you and I have the microphones. Yeah. Hey, I hadn't thought about that now, Scott. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I know she's nervous. I grew up with Andrea. I can't tell you how many years ago because I give away her age. Uh, but I, I grew up with Andrea years ago. Andrea, while we're moving some more people in and out, tell us a little bit about what you're doing tonight and what you guys have been doing over the last few weeks. Uh, during the COVID pandemic, um, some of us just got together and – Tay was it was put on her heart that we start like a women's inspiration group and just kind of pray for each other and then our group kind of grew and then along that you know we have several football moms in the group and um, we just decided that the Smiths had a hard way to go. Um, Mike had a severe heart attack and it really just put a damper on things for them right. and it affected more than just their family That's it affected right. the football family to fit because the boys love their son and you know just we just wanted to help them out so tay and brought it to us to want to do a fundraiser for them and the whole community just come together it was crazy and donated stuff everything that we have for our four baskets no Four Baskets yeah. is donated from right here in Gary County. Fantastic. Um, and they have some very nice things in them. We've done it for how yeah, long we've been we raising the money? Football about football a month. Football and football we just we wanted to just do a little something to help yeah. them out because, you know, medical bills and everything just really Absolutely. take a toll. And so we're going to announce the winners. Tonight and is draw. the night for the winners. Oh, right? the drum roll. Tonight is the night for the winners. We always like, we've never got the chance to do this. Nobody ever trusts us with this. <laughs> So, like, we enjoy getting to know this kind of stuff. We tried to figure out who now, was the homecoming queen, and they wouldn't give it to us. Now, Scott, if they pull your name, you can't win. Our okay. first winner is Scott Bolin. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> well, tonight I wore my contacts, so I'm going to have to <laughs> – Jeff has got my readers on. So, the first winner is uh, – I, I got – read it. Who is it? There we go. Montrina Stump, number one. All right. There we go. Congratulations. Basket number one. As I had my contacts, I can't see anything. I'm getting old. Not as, not quite as, I'm a little older than you, Andrea. <laughs> but pull one out of there. Tell us who our second winner is tonight. As the second winner oh. is going to be Amanda, Amanda Sheehan. Sheehan. Oh, Amanda Sheehan. Man, look at here. Look at here. We still got plenty of time because of crazy rules in football. You get an extra three minutes. Who in the world? Had the that's Scott's favorite That's role. my favorite. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I can see that uh, one from here. Yes. Winner of number three, Terry, Terry Feldman. Feldman. Oh, Terry <laughs> Feldman. I tell you, you better pick so. Nikki Norris or she may have a <laughs> – she may have a fit down she's there. She's starting to look like she's not real happy. She here, is not going to be happy. And the winner is, no, sorry, Nikki <laughs> Norris, Amanda oh, Daughtery. Oh, Amanda Daughtery, thank you all so, so much. So, Scott, before we, I mean, 
man, thank you all so much. We uh, appreciate for, that. For everything that you all have done. Uh, you know, I've told Mike before, you know, Mike coached my son Jake. Sure. And and Jake still talks about Coach Mike. Yeah, uh, let's talk to and, Mike uh, for yeah, just for a second. Yeah, get Mike on here. And, I mean, he just – you know, my, Mike is just such a beloved figure in our community. And, man, I tell you, the first time I saw Mike after his issue, man, I, it, and I had coach yells. Yeah. Uh, just kind of seeing how you bounce back. And, man, we love you. We support you. And, man, we're so happy you're here yeah. with us today. So, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it's you nice are. to be here. Yeah. I bet you are. Talk to us a little bit about some for your football history. I know you got Trey out there playing. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, we got another one's playing tomorrow. Yeah, Lucas has a game yeah, tomorrow. He's got a game tomorrow. So, talk a little bit about uh, your football history because it runs, it runs deep in your family oh yeah well i'm from jessman county and yeah. i play that's football okay. over there yeah that's okay my but wife's <laughs> there mom so that's okay but I, I i love i've come over and i've coached a lot of these kids since they were four and five years old and yeah it's great to see them growing ah, up now oh, absolutely and so i enjoy that a lot absolutely well you know and here's the thing you know we you enjoy coaching we all enjoy coaching but the thing about it when you went through something like you did oh, just, yeah. just to see the folks of the differences of the lives that you've touched yes you know and, it, was, and it was amazing it's to see amazing. how many people there actually were it's yeah. amazing <laughs> and unfortunately you don't get the opportunity to see that very often yeah. that's right uh so it, thank you so much well, because thank you guys. it makes such yeah. a difference and in, in not only these kids in football but their lives in general yes uh yeah. you mine know, too Makes Absolutely, mine better too. and, 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 it and it's it what us. makes Garrett County special. That's yeah. right. We, we constantly talk about right. this. Uh, man, it's just a special place, uh, strong bonds of community, strong bonds of relationships, uh, and kind of seeing the community kind of come together, yeah. support a family that they love. Uh, and, and it's pretty nice seeing a, your son out there. Oh, right, yeah. Right? That's right. yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. my recovery right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just come to the ball field. Well, I'll That's tell you right. what, Trey gets there quickly. Oh, yeah. I yeah. mean, oh, he yeah. gets there quickly. He yeah. closes out as a little, well as anybody. got to watch out for little oh, brother. He's coming. I know all. Touchdown run. We gave him a shout out. Yeah, he won. He scored to win a touchdown. I loved it. I'll hear all about it from Camp Dick Girl. <laughs> that are down there without a doubt. Mike, great, great to Thanks, see you, God. man. Thank you so much. God Appreciate bless you, man. you, Thank you, man. Appreciate it, brother. We're going to take one more break. This is Gary County Golden Lion football on Golden Lion Sports Network. Much time? No, we're good. Homeowner, I didn't know anything about the loan process, so that's why we decided to go with First Southern process with First Southern was exactly how I pictured it. They were just very welcoming and made me feel like I had known them forever the minute that I walked through the door. Since 1967, Urban Group Realtors and Auctioneers have helped folks with their farms, commercial property, auction needs, and of course, dream homes. The Urban Group Realtors and Auctioneers, no one sells it better. Since 1951, Danville Office Equipment has dedicated itself to providing personal service and superior office products for our customers. We take a lot of pride in their success because that's how we measure ours. Danville Office Equipment, Danville, Lebanon, and Somerset. Farmers National Bank believes investing in education is the best way to build a stronger community. Good luck to all the Garrett County students in the classroom and on the playing fields. Go Lions! Like now. Like now. <laughs> and welcome back, folks, as your Urban Group scoreboard reads Garrett County 14, Henderson County Bearcats 8, and we have with us a Garrett County Golden Lion. I'm not even going to bring up the Anderson County <laughs> oh, Bearcats. he's a Garrett County uh, true and true. Garrett County uh, Golden Lion. Uh, you know, I like to say, you know, the, the lion can leave the pride, but the pride never leaves uh, the lion. That's oh, what, I, preach that's what I'm saying. About. Preach it. So, Alex, tell us a little bit about you, folks that may not already know you. I know we've got some folks in Lawrenceburg that are listening, tons of folks in Gary County. Tell us a little bit about you and, uh, and, and where, what you've done in your life so far. Sure. So, uh, proud Garrett County alum. I uh, graduated in, in 2011. Uh, was lucky enough to play for a lot of guys on this staff yeah. uh, during that time. <laughs> Say, uh, uh, the man up here in the booth with me, Coach Centers, uh, right. he basically drug me out to the football field <laughs> and said, you're going to play. And I was like, yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Can't say anything no to that. No, right? absolutely not, especially when he drags you by your ear. <laughs> so he, uh, he dragged me up to the football field, and he said, son, you're going to play. And I said, yes, sir. And uh, I owe that man a lot because he put me into college. He, uh, right. he put me into Hanover, and I got to play all four years up there, yeah. uh, graduate from my degree, and uh, uh, I owe him a lot for that. So and uh, Coach Crutchfield is on that staff as well. So uh, I really I owe, uh, I owe the staff a lot. Well, so, can I talk to us about kind of what you're doing now, Alex? Sure. Uh, so uh, 
uh, raising my beautiful family. We're in Lawrenceburg. So, so brag on the family for a minute. Yeah, of course. I got I got two beautiful babies. I say right. uh, Claire is three and Jack's one. Wow. Uh, they're driving That's me nuts, but I love them to death. <laughs> uh, I got a beautiful wife that drains my wallet too. Oh but, man! Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Welcome to the real so world. I tell you what, he's not quit talking about his wife up here. I know. I mean, I'm this proud guy loves oh, his yeah? wife. I'm yeah. proud I mean, of him. Yeah, I tell you, he, he's got. He must have a good. He one learned that from his dad. His dad. Yeah, learned a lot from him. <laughs> but yeah, uh, beautiful family. Uh, Say so cleaning up the streets in Lexington That's now. Right. Uh, so uh, all all around, man, uh, doing well. Doing so well. So how blessed. long have you been with the police department in Lexington? So almost uh, almost a year now. Uh, getting out there and uh, and trying to do what we can. Um, so just uh, getting through the academy, getting out, uh, doing the FTO phase, kind of learning the the mean streets, uh, sure. if you will. Uh, uh, just trying to get out, protect community, and, and do what we can. And, and you know, it, I mean, this goes without saying, but your all's job obviously Can't is believe. never easy. Oh my goodness! I mean, it's never <laughs> no. easy. Uh, but but in a city like Lexington, which seems over the last ten years or so ha- has become concerningly uh, tougher. Uh, right. You know, so so you know, for you, what's it like, man, going out there and you never know, like every stop, you never know what's going to happen. Absolutely, I mean, you always have to you keep your uh, keep your head on a swivel, much like out here on the field. You uh, you got to kind of expect the unexpected. But sure. uh, Lexington, bar none. I mean, the the academy's tough, but you you learn how to take care of yourself. You you you're trained properly for for any situation sure. and. Uh, you treat everything uh, with due regard until you realize that you don't really have to be right. uh, on a high level. But uh, so far, so good. I'll keep praying that it stays that way. Absolutely, <laughs> without a doubt. And uh, we're we're so thankful for folks like you, so appreciate all right. your yeah. brothers and yeah. sisters that are out there with yeah, you, man. man. Uh, tell us a little bit about the football here. What you're seeing so far, uh, Gary County up 14 to eight. This is your yeah. first time seeing the Golden Lions this year. Yeah. So uh, unfortunately, say I don't get out much. I got uh, I'm kind of chained to my house for for whatever reason, but. <laughs> But uh, I think right now Garrett is doing a great job of kind of controlling the middle of the field. That's right. Uh, and I think right now with the way that Anderson kind of plays their offense, uh, uh, they kind of remind me we used to play Estill County every year, That's and right. they were That's like right. three yards in a cloud of dust. That's good analogy. So, yeah, Anderson is <laughs> very similar. Anderson's a little fancier than Estill used to be with their old wing tee, but if you can kind of put them behind the chains, you, you, do, right. you set yourself up for success. Um, and if you can control the edges, I think Garrett will hold on to this game and, and kind of, uh, control it from here. Well, I don't know how it works out with look at Cam Go, Peek, go. He Cam Peek. Oh, there we go. Road to the Go-ho. house. Yes. Flags on the play. 20 10. Let's go. Touchdown. Yes. Gary yes. County. There we go. Wow. Cam Peek. 92 it. yards. It. He said, take that, Aunt Holly. Absolutely. As he had Aunt Holly up here earlier just before Alex as they were speaking, and she was talking about Cam Peak. Well, Coach, I don't know what the, the academy and now being in a, as a officer holds for you, but when you're ready to coach football, I'm sure Coach Spencer uh, at Crutchfield oh, and a whole yes. bunch will have you, man. Oh, I'd love to help any way I can. So. Well, I'll tell you what. Thanks for joining us, buddy. God Thank bless you. you. Be careful out Appreciate there. You, man. Be Appreciate safe you, Appreciate out there. Thank you all. That is Alex Freeman. As his dad was a longtime educator here in Gary County, Alex was a uh, graduate here. As Zach Daly is up and good, Perfect. takes your <laughs> Urban Groove scoreboard now. Gary County 21, Anderson County 8. We'll take another break and we'll be back. This is Gary County Golden Line Football on Golden Lion Sports Network. Friendly service from people you know. That's Sutton Pharmacy. We are a hometown community pharmacy with old-fashioned values, experience, and the latest technology and resources. Sutton Pharmacy, dedicated to providing the very best for you. Go Lions! Toyota of Somerset has been serving and supporting our local communities. Trusted, loyal, dedicated, helpful, and consistent. Toyota of Somerset. Come see us. Whitaker Bank has always been more than just a bank. We're a locally owned, community-driven institution made up of your friends and neighbors. And of course, Golden Lion fans just like you. Garrett County and Whitaker Bank, uniquely Kentucky, member FDIC. Hey, I'm Maria Montgomery and you're watching Main Street Media TV.
And welcome back, folks, as Cam Peak goes 92 yards for Garrett County score. Woo. And it is 21 to 8. Garrett County as Zach Daly tacks on his third extra point as he continues to be perfect on the season, 9 for 9, as it's going to be a squib kick quickly to Tyler McKeachin, and he will fall on it. We'll be first and 10 Bearcats. Hey, so Judy Walk, uh, Gardner has checked Judy in. Judy Gardner. I, I think she's here, she uh, but she's here. definitely kind of checking in. We had a, we were blessed to kind of meet Judy here That's today. Right. And she's a faithful listener and glad that she's yeah, up here she's from Georgia. Awesome. From uh, Rome, Georgia. Rome, up here Georgia. watching Hayden. Uh, so hey. you think she tells everybody she's from Rome? I thought I would. <laughs> I mean, when in Rome, right? <laughs> I mean, listen, if I'm from Rome, I'm t- I mean, if I was from Paris over there, yeah, I'd be like, party Rue Franze. I'm from Paris, Kentucky. Hey, big uh, thanks to the folks that fed us tonight, dude. Absolutely, oh, man. Goodness, such, okay. such a great folks, as we sure appreciate that. First and 10. As the Bearcats are in shotgun formation, as Eli Castle awaiting the snap, going to give it to Higgins quickly off the left side. As wow. he's going to be wrapped what a play up by Dave Daughtery. As Daughtery absolutely Daughtery. blew that play up. So I tell you that that you know that's you know that's the defense scouting uh, and kind of recognizing a play. Uh, and and you know Nathaniel Daugherty, that wasn't a blitz. That was kind of what they would almost call a run blitz when he recognizes that run. Uh, that, that play kind of coming forward, Coach Hester's kind of already built inside. You attack. Right. And boy, Nathaniel Doherty attacked that running back uh, for a big two-yard loss there for Anderson County. I've been saying this to anybody that will listen. You know, these kids play so hard. Oh, I mean, man. I was just they, talking about that before they the game play, with Chris Crutchfield. They play so hard. Play I their absolutely, hearts out. you know, enjoy uh, watching that. As Castle in shotgun formation, second and 12. As he's going to drop back to throw his throw opposite way. Oh! And the pass was almost oh picked goodness. up. It's going to be Fumble? No, they're going to say no, it's, it's incomplete. incomplete. Wow. I actually thought he might have caught it and possessed the football uh, and then fumbled it. But it looks like that's going to bring up third and 12 for the goal lines. Really nice call by mid uh, the umpire there yeah. as he was right on top of that one. And I tell you, JT Parsons read that screen pass perfectly uh, and almost intercepted that. That would have been an absolute huge play for Garrett County. Crystal Floyd is checking in and watching. Yeah. The Pazudos are watching from Harrogate, Pazuto's. Tennessee. Lincoln Harrogate. Memorial University. Yeah, absolutely. I know what they're doing down there <laughs> as they're down there visiting their lovely daughter as one of our fantastic. We love the Pazudos. There's a long pass. It's going to be thrown to the right side. It's going to be caught, but it's going to be out of bounds. It's going to be caught, but it goes out catch. of bounds. Boy, he came down with that what football. What a great yeah. catch that time by Nehemiah Wilson. Man, give Wilson a ton of credit right And there. I'll tell you, he went up high to catch that football, but his momentum just carried it out of bounds as the official was right on top of it as it went out of bounds, and now it'll be fourth down and 12 as the Bearcats are set to punt this one away. Anthony Dodson has checked in, appreciating Holly Peak and Exit Realty. Bold move being a sponsor. Mike Grimes has checked in saying, let's go GC. Snap was low. Nice job getting the snap off as Hayden Elliman is going to catch it and follow the blocking of uh, I can't remember to see, or see exactly who that was. Oh, that was who was that? Was Chandler Payne? He waited on him to turn around. One of our favorite people, Coach Nancy Holland is checking yes, in. Yes, Nancy. Saying, Go GC. Yeah, I love Nancy and her uh, her husband. They're fantastic, great family. What hey, a great family. So Danny Irvin has checked in. Yeah, Colonel. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. Colonel D. He says he. Uh, I see W.K. Teeter is watching. Uh-huh. 56 years ago, he and I were both high school seniors, and 56 years later, uh, I'm still trying to figure out why I took the trigonometry. <laughs> <laughs> now, you did you mean, pass trigonometry? Trigon- dude, I couldn't spell trigonometry. <laughs> hey, man. Well, let's take the class. Hand off this time to Malachi Simmons. Oh, He's going to hit Malachi, off the left side. Go. Get a good block there. Nice job. He got a first down and more into Anderson County territory. It'll be first and 10 from the 42-yard line of Anderson County. You know, we talked about this, Scott, but, man, what – I mean, uh, the Gary Kenny Gold Lions, man, they are playing their hearts out tonight. Uh, and I've had numerous texts from people that's in the end zone watching the games and in the crowd just kind of wanting us to kind of see what this crowd looks like. You know, we mentioned this at the beginning of the game. You can really feel the energy from the yes, crowd. You can no feel doubt. the energy from the sideline. And that all that energy is being transferred down on the field for the Gold Lions. 
Die House Stadium, folks. We couldn't wait to get back here. First and ten as Parsons is going to hand it off to Cam Peak. As Cam is going to get locked in the room. Are you Nicky kidding miss, me? Cam Peak. He went out. Oh, goes out of bounds. Fumbles it out of bounds. But after a gain of about 21 yard lines, 19 or 19 to 20 yards, as we'll say. What a great run. So, so we've talked about how how explosive and how quick Cam is, and he is. But I tell you right now, he stopped on a dime. He shifted his hips. He kind of took off uh, and, and made an Anderson County Bearcat miss. And then he stiffed arm uh, and was able to kind of gain another 10 yards uh, for the goal lines. Urban Group scoreboard reads Gary County 21, Anderson County 8, 9.56 to go here in the third quarter. Justin Parsons in pistol formation with Malachi Simmons just to, but just behind him, trips to his right as he's going to hand one off to Malachi Simmons as Malachi is going to uh, rumble and stumble for about six. Anderson County tackled there by Will Ruddy as he does a nice job filling the hole. Guys, is this the biggest crowd we've had? I think it's the biggest crowd I have seen since I have been down here with you guys. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it is a nice crowd. It is a super crowd, nice crowd. You know, Great job right there by Caleb Centers, kind of moving his guy off the ball there. And a uh, great job by Malachi, kind of kicking it in there and gaining some big yardage for Gary County. I want to kind of give some shout out and thanks for our sponsors. Uh, Bob Allen Motor Mall, appreciate them being a sponsor of tonight's broadcast. Our man, Ron Haver, sitting right in front of us from Central Kentucky, Federal Savings Bank. Appreciate you, Ron. Hand off to Malachi Simmons this time. Nowhere really to go. Does a nice job of just getting one or two as much as he could. It's going to bring up third and about three from about the 12-yard line as the clock continues to run. Nine minutes to go here in the third quarter. Gary County trying to punch it in for the second time in this quarter. Jennifer Hunt has checked in saying go lines. Appreciate Let's go, Hunt, energy. Yes, we do. Uh, everything Absolutely. that you do to make this happen. Absolutely. One of our fantastic – and we can't thank – I mean, I know we thank them, but we can't thank them enough uh, for – giving us the opportunity to bring this uh, programming to you guys for all of the athletes in Gary County. Malachi Simmons this time is going to cut one back up the middle. He's going to get the first down and more where the pile is finally pushed backwards, but it'll be first and goal for Gary County from about the six-yard line, it looks like. It'll be first and goal for a Bob Allen first down. I tell you, the Gary County offensive line, just doing a great job out there. You got Tristan Murphy, you got Houston Cloud, you got Caleb Centers, you got Andrew Sparks, you got Mason Sula. You know, a lot, a lot of times those linemen don't really uh, get a lot of glory. In fact, they really don't care about a lot of glory. They just want to kind of hit somebody right. and get physical uh, within that tackle box. They were man doing a great job of controlling the line of scrimmage. They're kind of imposing their will right now as they uh, get to where they want to go. Hand off this time, Malachi. He's in. Let's say touchdown! Touchdown! Wow. Malachi Simmons goes untouched from six yards out to move your Urban Groove scoreboard to Garrett County 27, Anderson County 8, 8.01 to go here in the third quarter. Zach Daly back out to attempt his fourth extra point on the night as he is four for, excuse me, three for three. On the night. Willie Hoskins has checked in saying, go get Willie Garrett. Hoskins. I tell you what, Willie's a longtime educator in Lincoln County, but he is uh, Gary County wow. through and through. It's a good. rough snap good. there. Great job by Hayden Elliman to get that one down. And another one through the uprights <laughs> for Zach Daly. As that puts him four for four on the night, 10 for 10 on the year. Your Urban Group scoreboard reads Gary County 28, Anderson County 8, 8.01 to go here in the third quarter. You're listening to Gary County Go Line Football on Golden Lion Sports Network. Bob Allen Motor Mall is a proud sponsor of Garrett County Football. Shop Bob Allen for a winning selection of new and pre owned vehicles, all dealmaker priced. Click and save today at BobAllenMotorMall.com. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank understands family, tradition, community mean just a little bit more around here. You can see it and hear it. And that's why we take so much pride in what we do. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank. Your hometown friends. Your hometown bank. Garrett County is our special place. And that's why Hunt Insurance Agency is proud to serve the insurance needs of local businesses, families, and individuals. We build relationships that last because getting to know you and your personal needs is what we do best. Hunt Insurance Agency. 
I'm Holly Peak with Exit Realty, your hometown realtor. I love seeing old friends and meeting new. Buying, selling, I know the value of our area. Our 3D virtual tour will sell your home fast. Like you, I'm sold on the Golden Lions. Hey, how are you? And welcome back, folks, as Gary County scores again. Your Urban Group scoreboard reads 28, Gary County, 8 for Anderson County, first and 10, Anderson County. So I tell you right now, Elijah Coffey did a great job in getting down there and making that tackle. And I tell you, we, we had we had mom and dad up here earlier, but Trey Smith did a real nice job of kind of keeping the perimeter, kind of making sure the Anderson County uh, kickoff returner couldn't kind of bounce it outside. So when he cut it back inside, Elijah was there to kind of clean him up and make a big tackle for Gary County. Former Gary County alum and Gary County Sheriff's Deputy Josh Gibson oh, will have Josh Gibson. smashing smoke up here October 7th at our oh next home goodness. game as he does a lot of, uh, he smokes meat but smokes multiple things and if you've not had that folks you're missing out as you will absolutely yeah, I, love I, it. I eat so much that it's true that smoking kills you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I'll give you that. I, I'm pretty good. Well you'll like this kind of stuff as it's going to be a uh, snap and a roll out to the left side as the throw is going to be just short as Castle was trying to connect with number 20, and we do not have number 20, uh, so I apologize. I tell you, Chandler Payne did a great job kind of covering there for Gary County, kind of making, uh, not allowing a window to kind of develop there for the uh, for that reset, you know, for the the past reception there. So great job by Chandler Payne covering. I had a chance to kind of meet some of Chandler's family yes. there at halftime. Chandler's Man, we, mom. Oh, my goodness. We, we love kind, it of, was great. kind of meeting everybody. I told her, I said, we're not had as many Chandler Payne shout-outs on here tonight as we <laughs> normally do. She said, well, most everybody's already here. So uh, that was that was really cool. Second and 10, Anderson County. As Gary County has done a nice job defensively after that one trick play that got Anderson County into the end zone. Anderson County switching sides twice as they're going to hand off this time to Higgins. This is going to hand off quickly uh, like a double handoff to number three, which we don't have that name. Uh, also, a shout out to our Lady Lions women's golf team as they'll be competing in the region on Tuesday at Oak Ridge. Sydney Travis Sr., Abigail Travis, Laney Montgomery, Abby Bailey, and Kylie Kobernick. The Lady Lions are coached by Jason Bailey and Sam Travis. Good luck to the Lady Lions Tuesday at Golf Regionals. Good luck, no doubt about that. So, Sue, Sue Stevenson has checked in saying, let's go GC. Fred has checked in Fred. from the stands. From saying, the stands. Go Lions, Kim and I are both in the stands. He's saying four for four tonight, baby, as, uh, as Zach continues to just pipe them through for us. Handoff is going to be inside. Great job defensively by none other than Trenton. How many Eisen. times have we said his name? I'm telling you. It all, I'm telling you, Trenton almost took the handoff from the quarterback. I'm you. He, I mean, he was in the wrong – he was on the wrong side, or he could have took the handoff from the quarterback. He was in the backfield so quickly. T.J. Burnside saying, let's Teach. go, G.C. T.J. Hey, baby. listen to this. Teach Big my man. Lair. Larry Coddles Big Lair. checked in. He's listening in from the riverbanks as he's down there making the sure pond. on the pond. All the muskrats are down there. He's chasing them around tonight. Big Lair looking forward to. Uh, he's got a few TPs on his property. He's got a couple of TPs here and there trying to see. He's really worried about Ohio State and Toledo tomorrow. Uh, you know, Toledo probably going to beat Ohio State, but that's okay. Uh, you know, it's it's kind of a, a national thing when, you, when Toledo comes to town. Fourth and four for the Bearcats. Trying to draw Gary County offside. Doesn't happen, and they'll take a timeout, and we will too. Your Urban Group scoreboard is Gary County 28, Anderson County 8, 607 to go in the third quarter. This is Gary County Golden Lion football on Golden Lion Sports Network. Aren't they in the same league with Toledo? <laughs> I mean, Youngstown. I'm homeowner. I didn't know anything about the loan process, so that's why we decided to go with First Southern. The process with First Southern was exactly how I pictured it. They were just very welcoming and made me feel like I had known them forever the minute that I walked through the door. Since 1967, Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers have helped folks with their farms, commercial property, auction needs, and of course, dream homes. The Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers, no one sells it better. Since 1951, Danville Office Equipment has dedicated itself to providing personal service and superior office products for our customers. We take a lot of pride in their success because that's how we measure ours. Danville Office Equipment. Danville, Lebanon, and Somerset. Farmers National Bank. 
believes investing in education is the best way to build a stronger community. Good luck to all the Garrett County students in the classroom and on the playing fields. Go Lions! And welcome back, folks. Passing here on fourth down as quarterback is Castle is going to pull it down and get the first down and more as he gets into Anderson County territory. As good job our secondary has all the receivers recovered up. Almost too good of a job. By the almost secondary. too good of a job by the secondary as he was able to tuck and run. And Castle did a great job of kind of reading that he didn't have an open receiver down the field, so he did. He kind of tucked it and kind of picked up a big first down for uh, Anderson County. Uh, so we have Eric Comley has checked Eric in. Eric Comley. Said he loves gravy. I like I, gravy I too. i tell you what, I love gravy yeah. too. He, he did a great job at the soccer broadcast oh, the other night. He's a natural. Stepping lady. in just uh, unannounced. I mean, he just, just came in like he had been here forever. As Castle's looking to throw, as he's going to have number two out into the flats as that is carried because he got – Finally tackled and went out of bounds. That was Clink, the 5'10", 174-pound senior for a gain of about 19. So they did, you know, that was a screen. So Anderson County knew that Gary County's defensive line has really been getting some pressure on the quarterback. So kind of uh, try to use that as a disadvantage for Gary County running the screen, kind of picking up a big uh, first down uh, for Anderson County. T.J. Burnside saying yeah. go GC. T.J.'s my man. T.J.'s doing a lot of uh, basketball officiating. He does a really good job. We sure job. appreciate that. Daniel Ray, go Garrett. Big D. Daniel Ray's Gary County alum. First and ten, Bearcats. Eli Castle, the sophomore, as quarterback. As I always think, they're getting ready to snap it when they all take off moving like that. There's the snap, the handoff to Higgins off left side. Another handoff <laughs> on the inside. <laughs> and nowhere to go as Andrew Sparks <laughs> and Bryce Bullock That's are there sandwich. quickly. They made a sandwich. Absolutely <laughs> stopped him on a dime. Did, want to give a special shout-out here. Dwayne Holland Yes, uh, hey, is, Dwayne. is kind of checking in, watching us, and, and watching the gold lines from the hospital. Great dude. Dwayne, I tell you what, buddy, we I, I constantly pray for you, buddy. Yeah, I love man. you. Amen. Continue to, the fight, man. We sure hope to see you soon absolutely uh, kind of hang in there my friend absolutely love Dwayne and nancy and their family uh just some absolutely great people yeah. uh and we sure are praying for you Dwayne. uh you and your lovely wife nancy second and 14 for the bearcats as castle this time is going to hand off uh to higgins off the right side it's got a little bit of room as camp peak's finally going to get a touch uh, a hold of him not okay. until after a uh, gain of about uh, eight or nine. Yeah, I think Coach bring... Hester's a little upset. I think the, I think there was a holding pill he missed there on the perimeter. So and then Coach Hester's telling the <laughs> the, the play, you know Nathaniel, just fight through it, you know, kind of fight through it. And, Third uh, and four for Garrett County Golden Lions. Urban Group scoreboard reads Garrett County twenty-eight. Anderson County, 8, 408 to go here in the third quarter. Kendall Playforth has checked in. Yeah. Go GC. I'll tell you what, man. So I'll tell you a story about Kendall here in just a second. As here's a snap, going to hand off quickly to number three off the left side as Elman's going to try to get a hold of him and does quickly. Wow, what a play. As, so Kendall, Kendall used to play. He used to play back in the day, and we won't say the year, but he's a little bit older than me. But he's got a twin brother, and they were both about the size of Trenton, right? And I mean, they would absolutely bring the wood. I mean, they would absolutely just smash it. Now, Kendall, he, you know, back in the day, it was a little bit different. We didn't have all the video and that kind of thing. But they knew when they were coming. They had those play forth twins, is what they called oh, my them. Goodness. And when they came Sounds to play. Like kind of Oh, my gosh, absolutely, as it is fantastic. Love seeing the Gary County alum. Fourth and four for the Gary County Golden – or, excuse me, for the uh, Anderson County Bearcats in Gary County territory. Big down here as Castle looking over the defense for Gary County. Going to hand off to Higgins off the left side. He's got a hole over there. Gets hit, gets the first down and more as he slips away. Nice run. As he will be in yeah. for a touchdown. Yeah. Gary County had two or three chances there. But Higgins runs with a purpose as he scores the second touchdown of the night for Anderson County. You know, our good friend Jim Freeman's up in the press box with us here tonight. We've, we've been talking a lot during timeouts. You know, just really impressed with Higgins. Uh, oh, yeah. Really nice player for Anderson County. Uh, you know, when he took that when, when he took that handoff there, he had a purpose of getting in the end zone, and uh, he got in for a big score uh, for Anderson County. Anderson County keeps the offense on the field, trying to convert their second 
two-point conversion. Your Urban Group scoreboard reads Gary County 28, Anderson County 14, as they're going to hand off this time to number three, which is going to get close, but does not does not get, get in. in. <laughs> it does not get in. So your Urban Group scoreboard will stay at 28-14, 3.06 to go in the third quarter. You're listening to Gary County Golden Line Football on Golden Lion Sports Network. Friendly service from people you know. That's Sutton Pharmacy. We are a hometown community pharmacy with old-fashioned values, experience, and the latest technology and resources. Sutton Pharmacy, dedicated to providing the very best for you. Go Lions! Toyota of Somerset has been serving and supporting our local communities. Trusted, loyal, dedicated, helpful, and consistent. Toyota of Somerset. Come see us. Whitaker Bank has always been more than just a bank. We're a locally owned, community driven institution made up of your friends and neighbors. And of course, Golden Lion fans just like you. Garrett County and Whitaker Bank, uniquely Kentucky, member FDIC. Hey, I'm Maria Montgomery, and you're watching Main Street Media TV. And welcome back, folks. Gary County awaiting the kickoff from Anderson County as they are still leading on the Urban Group scoreboard by the score of 28-14. Randy and Stacy McGuffey has checked in saying, let's go, GC. Yeah, I saw Stacy today walking across the street, and I was thinking as I saw her walk across the street how cool it is. Like we had uh, Peak up here, oh, at, you know, these it. hometown folks, and she has southern roots uptown on the square, and it's just great to see those folks that are that are making, uh, their, making their profession here in Gary County. It's going to be an onside kick, going to be fielded by Gary County. Looks like Hayden Elliman possibly. Uh, I, I, yes, Hayden Elliman. You know, if there's an onside kick, I really want to kick to Hayden Elliman. <laughs> I, uh, I mean, man, you know, not I only agree. does Hayden have great hands, he's just got a high football IQ, uh, and, and you can just about be confident that he's going to recover uh, the ball. Jim Freeman. Robert Hanks says, hey, Cousin Jim, as he's listening in tonight, as, uh, as Robert Jeff, Jim is uh, smiling over here, as we won't give him the microphone because he, he can tell some stories, and you may not. Is he a golfer? He's a girls' oh. golf coach. All right, Robert Hanks. And we, you, now golf is my language. I can talk that a thousand times more than I can talk football. Uh, but we appreciate you looking in and watching in tonight as Gary County's going to take the handoff to Malachi Simmons. Uh, gains of about one or two uh, as he was following Houston Cloud there, trying to get uh, trying to get the blocking as Malachi is a little slow getting yeah. up. He's He's slow an ankle. Up. Anderson County is, is saying that there there was a fumble and the officials were saying that he was down. Yeah, absolutely. As he was down, as it looks like this will bring up second and nine for Garrett County. As trying to get, I tell you the you know the, with, with all the you know Houston Cloud looks like he's kind of twists his ankle a little bit as well. So you know the, the, there's been a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm. You know Garrett County, you know the Urban Group scoreboard has Garrett County 28, Anderson County 14 with two minutes and 30 seconds left. Garrett County's got to finish. They do right. They, the Garrett County's got to kind of keep the foot on the gas. Uh, you know Anderson County's a well coached team. They're not going to quit playing. Uh, Garrett County needs to kind of uh, you know kind of keep moving the football and putting a lot of pressure on Anderson County. Second and nine for the Golden Lions. Justin Parsons controlling the field for the Gary County Golden Lions. Malachi Simmons just behind as we're going to throw a screen pass out to Cam P. Gets one in the open as Cam is going to get knocked out of bounds. Pass first down. First down. Bob Allen first down and in to Gary, or excuse me, Anderson County Territory for a first down, first down Gary County. Line. Appreciate the Irvin Group. We've, we've talked about the Colonel and we had Cliff Fit on tonight. I uh, appreciate everything the Irvin Group does to support tonight's uh, broadcast. Appreciate our friends at Farmers National Bank, uh, Chris Davis. I appreciate everything that Chris and, the, and the Farmers National Bank does to be a sponsor of tonight's broadcast. First and 10, Gary County in the Anderson County Territory. As Justin Parsons is going to have Cam Peak to his left, Malachi Simmons to his right. Two minutes and two seconds to go here in the third quarter. 
as a little bit of a busted play as Parsons is going to tuck it, uh, lose maybe a yard, but not too bad. So it'll be second and 11, Gary County. Appreciate Holly Peak exit really, and we had Holly on at halftime there. Appreciate her coming back uh, home and holding up her business and, and her sponsorship of tonight's broadcast, our, our friends at Sutton Pharmacy uh, being a big broadcast sponsor here tonight. Appreciate our uh, partner there with uh, Hometown uh, Radio, WRNZ, and HometownLive.net, our friend Jason Wider at Central Kentucky TV. Appreciate appreciate all the partnerships making this broadcast a possibility. Second and 11, Gary County go to line, shotgun formation. As Parsons this time is going to hand off to Malachi Simmons following a great block by Sula. But he'll get back to about the original line of scrimmage. As Sula loses his uh, loses his cleat, <laughs> and I think Sula looked like, should I come out? And the coach yeah. is just, I think Coach <laughs> Grisham just turned head. the other way. Put the shoe <laughs> on. <laughs> He's like, no, yeah. we need you yeah. in this uh, game. Put the shoe on and uh, and and get back in here. And Coach Coach Crutchfield is going to call a timeout as uh, as Sula can't get it uh, get it back on there. So we'll we'll keep it right here. Can, so can I can I th- you know we talk 100%. about our great we, let me jump in here. We talk about our great sponsors every week and you know I don't want to bring up it's a great night for football. Great night. We get to bring this to to oh, everybody man. and we talk about supporting our sponsors and letting them know how much you we appre- you appreciate it. Um, because there are people that would love to put something like this behind a paywall which sure. means they'd like for you guys to have to pay for Absolutely. this. Absolutely. That's right. And because right. of the general of our sponsors and them realizing that they're able to to target a, a, an engaged audience, um, you get to sit at home and watch it for free. That's right, and you get to watch the replay, and you get to kind of keep enjoying the game kind of after that. And, and and what Jeff is saying is exactly right. And folks, you know, really go out when you when you go into these businesses this week. I mean, thank them. Yeah, uh, thank them for the generosity. See them in church. See them yeah. down the street. Yeah, thank them for the support uh, that they have for this broadcast and, and kind of allowing this to happen. The other challenge I'm going to make is. If you're listening to us, make sure you like Main Street Media TV's Facebook page. We it really want a helps. thousand likes. Yep. Uh, Coach right. Bolin has already said he'll Let's shave his it. head if he gets to I'm a thousand likes. My head. So, folks, <laughs> if you no want to see Scott it. with We're a shaved head, head. Yep. let's get a thousand likes. Make sure you follow. Make sure you sign up for notifications. Uh, uh, and, and so, when Main Street Media TV on the Gold Line Sports Network goes live, you'll be able to follow. Third and ten, Gary County from the Anderson County territory from the 47-yard line. Parsons looking out to the right side, has peak. He's going to throw oh it down my the middle. Goodness. He's got it. Hayden, Element, get in there, Hayden. Touchdown, oh. Gary County. <laughs> Everybody, including myself, thought they were going to throw it in the flat to Cam Peak. And Hayden Element streaking down the middle of the field was wide open. Urban Group scoreboard reads 34, Gary County 14. Anderson County, 51 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Cynthia Russell has checked in saying, go Zach Daly watching from Florida. Oh, yeah. She, I listen, she's rubbing it in that she's in Florida. She was at the, <laughs> she was at the soccer game the other night, and she is a retired educator, and we so appreciate her and everybody. As Zach puts another one in. Wow. As Automatic. Zach is five for five on the night. Great job by Hayden Elliman getting that one down as well. We'll take a one-minute break. Gary County leads on your Urban Groove scoreboard, 35-14. 51 seconds to go here in the third quarter. You're listening to Gary County Golden Line Football and Golden Lion Sports Network. Bob Allen Motor Mall is a proud sponsor of Garrett County Football. Shop Bob Allen for a winning selection of new and pre-owned vehicles, all dealmaker priced. Click and save today at BobAllenMotorMall.com. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank understands. Family, tradition, community mean just a little bit more around here. You can see it and hear it. And that's why we take so much pride in what we do. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank. Your hometown friends, your hometown bank. Garrett County is our special place. And that's why Hunt Insurance Agency is proud to serve the insurance needs of local businesses, families, and individuals. We build relationships that last because getting to know you and your personal needs is what we do best. Hunt Insurance Agency. I'm Holly Peak with Exit Realty, your hometown realtor. I love seeing old friends and meeting new. Buying, selling, I know the value of our area. Our 3D virtual tour will sell your home fast. Like you, I'm sold on the Golden Lions. Ben. <laughs> Hang on, here we go. 
Uh, and welcome back, folks, as Zach Daly is set to kick off again for the Gary County Golden Lions. As this has uh, been a great night offensively for Gary County as they've been able to score on multiple possessions. And it's going to be a squib kick. Going to be picked up by Wilson out to the right side. Uh -oh. As he's going to be ran down by Nathaniel Dartery. But not until he gets to the 50-yard line. Nice return there by Wilson. As it looks like it'll be first and 10, Anderson County. So I tell you what, Scott, uh, you know, great play call there by uh, coach, head coach Spencer Crutchfield. Uh, you know, the Garrett running game has been effective. The Garrett, Garrett passing game had been effective out in the flats. Uh, so uh, so coach called basically a play. Uh, just about, you know, three or four receivers kind of ran a fade, which means they just kind of ran down the field. And I'll be honest, about every one of them was yeah, wide open. No doubt. Uh, and, and, man, what a, what a pass by Parsons kind of put it uh, in the Hayden element. Great catch, great run, way to put it in the end zone uh, for Garrett County. Anderson County will be first and 10. Anderson County right at the 50-yard line as they are trying to score here to get back into this football game as Gary County defensively has done a really nice job tonight. And there's going to be, be movement. Be movement. Yeah. What, what? I think they got – I'm not sure what he's saying. He's movement. got 12. 12 guys on the field. And that's too many. Yeah, you can't play with 12. Can't play with 12. Yeah, you can only play with 11. So that'll be first and 15. DeMond Fort has checked in. Yeah, I love DeMond. Gary County go line alum. As he is uh, one of the one of the fantastic folks that's uh, helped build this program over the yes, years. He has. And we certainly appreciate that. Our friend, India Harvey. India. You think I she's on her India. back porch? I tell you, she is home. She's excited. I mean, she, she can watch the game from her back porch. Homecoming. She has a homecoming dance, dance tomorrow, tomorrow night. night. I mean, everybody is pumped up about that. First and 15, Anderson County. As they're awaiting the snap is Eli Castle, sophomore quarterback with Higgins just to his right. This time he's going to roll out to his left, trying to get throwing the flat. Oh, picked oh, off. He's going to be picked oh, off pain. by Chandler Payne. And Chandler is going to get oh, down to about the uh, five-yard line, ten-yard line. Where it'll be first and ten, Garrett County with 31 seconds to go. Chandler Payne. Chandler Payne. With an interception, great job defensively. And somebody's by, down for the goal lines. By Gary County. Can't tell who that is over there that uh, yeah. is down. Play somebody with. Uh, I think they got the wind knocked out of them. That's, I think, what happened. Yeah, that happens. Again, don't forget, folks, October 7th, Smash and Smoke of Josh Gibson will be up here uh, with uh, all of their. All of their smoke meats. Uh, if you are excited about smoke meats, you will definitely want to be around on that and particular who, night. I mean, who isn't? All right. I can't tell. I mean, I love, I love smoke meat. Love smoke meat. I mean, that is the night, and he's getting up, and that is. That is Caleb, Caleb Sinners. As Caleb is, uh, he's is tough up. as nails. Yeah, He'll I, think be all he, right. I think he got the air knocked yeah. out of him. Jay Cloud saying, Jay Joe Cloud, Houston, number 71, watching from Georgia. Man, Jay Cloud, that is uh, Houston's dad, as uh, he's tuning in, as Jay has seen many sporting events over his day. A great family. A great family. Jay's a super dude. Uh, Houston is such a great kid, super respectful. Uh, got to talk to him today, and my goodness, how big. Uh, Houston has grown from oh, when I had man. him at Camp Dick. Great kid. I mean, he's about six inches taller than when I when I had him at Camp Dick. But uh, but yeah, what a great family. What a great job uh, by Gary County as well. Jason as Barker's checked in saying, "Go GC." Jason Barker, let's go GC. As Jason's a Gary County alum, as on the basketball heart. Hard, uh, hard court. What am I saying there? Hardwood. I, <laughs> hard couldn't, I couldn't hard court, hard floor, hard anything. Hardwood, as he was a standout basketball star for the Gary County Golden Lions back in the day, as he was a really, really good football player. Parsons under oh, the center. Oh, the wing tee. 
Parsons under center with the wing tees. He's going to uh, flip it to Cam Peak. Out uh, the left side, not much there. Tried to reverse, and you really can't reverse much when you're going to have everybody going to be following you. It's going to be a loss of about five or six for Gary County. Yeah, not a whole lot there. Gary County kind of comes out in a little bit of a different formation running the wing tee right there. Maybe a loss of 10. Bring it up second and 20 for the Gary County goal lines from the 22-yard line. That'll be the last play here the third quarter. Gary County going into the fourth quarter on your Urban Group scoreboard, leading 35-14. And we'll be back. This is Gary County Golden Lions football on Golden Lions Sports Network. I'm a homeowner. I didn't know anything about the loan process, so that's why we decided to go with First Southern process with First Southern was exactly how I pictured it. They were just very welcoming and I feel like I had known them forever the minute that I walked through the door. Since 1967, Urban Group Realtors and Auctioneers have helped folks with their farms, commercial property, auction needs, and of course, dream homes. The Urban Group Realtors and Auctioneers, no one sells it better. Since 1951, Danville Office Equipment has dedicated itself to providing personal service and superior office products for our customers. We take a lot of pride in their success because that's how we measure ours. Danville Office Equipment, Danville, Lebanon, and Somerset. Farmers National Bank believes investing in education is the best way to build a stronger community. Good luck to all the Garrett County students in the classroom and on the playing fields. Go Lions! And welcome back, folks, as it is time to start tonight's fourth quarter as Garrett County Golden Lions continue to lead the Anderson County Bearcats 35-14. Our cheerleaders, Coach, we worked on this today at the pep rally. Everybody responding to our cheerleaders. Yeah, well coached. Well the coached. Cheerleaders Just a are machine. Well coached. <laughs> Just a machine, I tell you. You know who the coach is, don't you? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just a machine down there. But uh, She was a guest last weekend. She oh, oh that's right. she was a guest. You some brownie points there. Man. Oh, yeah. Michael Anderson and Dave Hoskins set me up, I'm afraid. Second and 20. It's going to be offsides <laughs> on Garrett County. Play is going to be called dead. So that'll be a five yard penalty. It was a special guest. Yeah, oh, it was I a agree. special yeah. guest. Did they get you some brownie points, Scott? I, well, just about, no, I mean, not really. <laughs> did you mess it up on the way home? I probably <laughs> did. I probably did. If, there, if you can mess anything up, I am an expert at that. Second and 25 for the Gary County Golden Lions. Sheila Barnes has checked in saying, great. Great. Hey, listen, we <laughs> love that. As uh, she lived, if I'm not mistaken, she checked in last week at Frankfurt and said that was where she was living. So wow. she's watching Gary County Golden Lions from the capital city. Uh, it's going to be a handoff to Cam Peak off the right side as he's racing down. He's got a gap. As he's, he's got, got some. Of gap as he's going to be That's a horse down tackle. Yes, it is. Yep. A horse tackle. As we're going to have two flags so, on the play. So I'll tell you what, Scott, you know, a, a lot of times in football they say, you know, that he kind of runs like he's running downhill. And he. Right. Cam Peak just ran that ball like he was running downhill. Oh, yeah. You know, he kind of found uh, that little gap there. The offensive line did a great job. Uh, Mason Sula and, and Andrew Sparks did a great job getting out there and kind of securing the perimeter. And, man, when Cam saw just a little gap, man, there was an explosion yeah. uh, to kind of get through there and pick up some big yardage for Gary County. Tell you what, it really – he and Malachi Simmons really complement each other very well with uh, – I agree with that. You know, with, with mean, their running weapons. styles. Man, two weapons. With their running styles. Malachi is more of a uh, pounder and gets uh, gets those yardages when he needs it. And Cam just absolutely turns on the speed. So it'll be first and goal, Gary County, from the seven, leading 35-14. Matt Porter. Matt uh, Porter. Man says he really lo loves watching these broadcasts, cheering on the defense with Coach Chester. And I agree, Matt. I sure hope this one belongs to the good guys here tonight. No doubt about that, Matt. Die House Stadium is a special place special, to watch football a special games. Special night tonight. On Friday nights for the Golden Lions under the lights. First and goal from the seven. Parsons is going to hand off this time to uh, Cam Peak. He's, He's going to get in. Wow. Touchdown, Cam Peak. As Garrett County with another score. The Urban Group scoreboard reads Garrett County 41, Anderson County 14. Zach Daly back on the field to attempt his sixth extra point tonight. 
as he has been perfect five for five up until this point. Hayden Elliman, it goes, it goes without saying, but it also goes many times when we don't talk about it, how good his hands are. Oh, man. Uh, he does such a good job. He is really, really good at that good snap, good hold, and kick is up. And it is good. And that runs your Gary County score on your Evergreen scoreboard. Gary County 42, Gary County 14. 11.24 to go here in the fourth quarter, and we'll be back. Gary County Golden Lion Football, Golden Lion Sports Network. Friendly service from people you know. That's Sutton Pharmacy. We are a hometown community pharmacy with old-fashioned values, experience, and the latest technology and resources. Sutton Pharmacy dedicated to providing the very best for you. Go Lions! Toyota of Somerset has been serving and supporting our local communities. Trusted, loyal, dedicated, helpful, and consistent. Toyota of Somerset. Come see us. Whitaker Bank has always been more than just a bank. We're a locally owned, community driven institution made up of your friends and neighbors. And of course, Golden Lion fans just like you. Garrett County and Whitaker Bank, uniquely Kentucky, member FDIC. Hey, I'm Maria Montgomery, and you're watching Main Street Media TV. And welcome back, folks, as Garrett County is set to kick off to the Anderson Brick County Bearcats. Uh, again, as Zach Daly puts the foot to it, it's going to be picked up by Wilson at about the 15-yard line, trying to follow the blocking of the right side. He's got lots of room as he has one person to beat, and that is Zach Daly as he does a nice job slowing him down. He slowed him down. And just enough to get the rest of his team in here to finalize the tackle. Good job. Big shout-out to my good friends in Georgia. Barry and Becky Kincaid listening in tonight as they are Gary County fans. Becky's a Gary County alum, but Barry, coach, get this, he in school in Georgia was a coach, a teacher, an athletic director for many, many wow. years. Football coach, head football coach, assistant football coach, all that stuff. I'm trying to get him to move back here as his family is still up here. Colin. Oh, we'd uh, love to have you back. Caitlin, they're, uh, they have great family. They have six kids here in Gary County, but we're trying to get him back up here and plugged in. But Barry and Becky Kincaid, we miss you guys. Look forward to seeing you soon. First and 10, Anderson County as Castle's going to roll out to his right. He's got a wide open receiver in the end zone, and that is a touchdown to number six, That's Justin Barber, as a really nice pitch and catch that time from Castle to Barber. Yeah, a little play action pass there. Castle did a nice job of kind of uh, throwing a catchable ball there. You know, Anderson County uh, just capitalized on a real nice return. Uh, so, you know, Anderson County had great field position there and scores on the first play of that drive. Urban Group scoreboard reads Garrett County 42, Garrett County, excuse me, uh, Anderson County 20, 11.05 to go in the contest. Anderson County stays on the field for a two point conversion. Castle awaiting the snap as he's going to fake the handoff and try to get inside, but a great wow. tackle Have by Hayden Elliman. Great job as uh, he come up in the and just absolutely stopped the stop the hole. So your Urban scoreboard is Gary County 42, Anderson County 20, 11.05 to go here in the fourth quarter. This is Gary County Go Line Football. Go to the Lions Sports Network. Bob Allen Motor Mall is a proud sponsor of Garrett County Football. Shop Bob Allen for a winning selection of new and pre-owned vehicles, all dealmaker priced. Click and save today at BobAllenMotorMall.com. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank understands family, tradition, community mean just a little bit more around here. You can see it and hear it. And that's why we take so much pride in what we do. Central Kentucky Federal Savings Bank. Your hometown friends, your hometown bank. Garrett County is our special place. And that's why Hunt Insurance Agency is proud to serve the insurance needs of local businesses, families, and individuals. We build relationships that last because getting to know you and your personal needs is what we do best. Hunt Insurance Agency. I'm Holly Peak with Exit Realty, your hometown realtor. I love seeing old friends and meeting new. Buying, selling, I know the value of our area. 
Our 3D virtual tour will sell your home fast. Like you, I'm sold on the Golden Lions. And welcome back, folks, as Anderson County is set to kick off to the Gary County Golden Lions. After their third score of the night, Gary County continues to lead 42-20. Your Urban Group scoreboard, 11.05 to go in this contest. As Anderson County is going to onside kick it, it's going to be handled by Hayden Elliman. Every does a time. Nice job, does a nice job putting both hands on or both arms and covering the football as he takes off with it. I, I feel like, you know, just like you did, if, if they're going to onside kick it, kick it to Hayden Elliman. Every single time. Every time. Gary County, Coach Hurt checking in tonight says, Mr. let's Gary go, County. GC. He says, could it be a school record for the most extra <laughs> points kicked in a game? Honestly, we were just talking about that. I don't know that it's yeah. not. I wish so, Zach was on my fantasy well, team. Well, I wish he was on my fantasy <laughs> team, too. We'll ask yes. Daniel Hopkins here in just a minute, as Daniel Hopkins is our resident historian and record keeper. So we'll get his take on it here in just a minute, Coach Hurd, and get back with you. First and 10, Gary County Golden Lines, as Malachi Simmons is going to be tripped up. Looks like kind of tripped over a couple of his own guys as uh, the uh, – the play just kind of took off to the left. And Anderson did a nice job of kind of getting some penetration there and kind of getting low and kind of clogging up those running lanes for Garrett County. Appreciate our friends at First Southern National yes, Bank. Sir. David I'm not Grigson. going – well, I wasn't oh, going to name a person, but, you know, someone <laughs> had a nice sorry. picture in a Garrett County shirt. He this did. Way. He you did. Know? I'll so. name him. I'll, listen, I'll call him out. He don't bother he me. He looked good in Garrett County colors. Good, <laughs> as good as David Grigson could look. He looked <laughs> just like that in Garrett County colors. I, I love it. I have all these folks like he and Derek Lynch and all these guys coming out of the woodwork, Garrett County fans. Hand off this time to Cam Peak up the uh, right side. Not much cooking there as Anderson County gets uh, penetration on back-to-back -back plays. As this is going to be uh, third and 11 for Gary County, or excuse me, yes, for Gary County from their own 43-yard line. Our group scoreboard has 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter. Gary County 42, Anderson County 20. Appreciate our friends at Toyota of Somerset. Absolutely. Toyota of Somerset has been a great sponsor from the inception of our broadcasting. Gary County has got the clock continuing to run as it's under 10 minutes now, 9.45 to go here in the fourth quarter. Gary County looking to get their first victory of the season as Justin Parsons is going to hand one off to Malachi Simmons as he's got lots of room as he just oh, absolutely goodness. runs over a kid as he gets into, Gary, gets into uh, Anderson County territory and falls forward for what I thought was the first down. Looks like he's going to be about a yard short. Man, wow. and, and the sideline and maybe even more so the press box here. Wow. Uh, my goodness, he lost that two was, yards on that spot. That was a really rough spot as uh, it looked like Looked like Malachi was uh, was well over that spot, but it'd be be all right if we can get those two yards That's right, right here. And folks, one of the things that that if you're noticing here, we've got a brand new scoreboard. Our looks friends awesome. at Whitaker Bank yes, made sir. a big time investment, and man, that scoreboard yes, looks sir. fantastic. Thank you, Whitaker Bank. Justin Parsons going to put Cam Peak in motion. As now we're going to have movement on the Gary County. Guess that's going to be around the Gary County left side of the offensive line. And, and then, you know, th this might change what Coach Crutchfield was wanting to do. I think he felt very comfortable kind of uh, going for the first down here. So it'll be interesting to see if, if he maintains uh, – uh, wanting to kind of go for first down or if he lets uh, Parsons kind of punt. You know, I tell you, that, 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 that spot uh, costs uh, Gary two to three yards. It does. Uh, I'm, I'm not I – mean, yeah, I, I mean, it does. I'm not really and, sure what happened so there. So, that puts us in a in a rough spot. It's Parsons be a, I think he's going to punt it. A little deeper formation. This is where he normally punts from. As he gets one off, it's a high kick. Doesn't go very far. Needs a Garrett bounce and got a Garrett bounce. Well, Actually, I'll tell you what happened. The, the Anderson County – Anderson County did a great job yeah. uh, of getting They're in the backfield. It hit, it hit the Anderson County player is what I think Coach Crutchfield is, is what I saying. I can't really tell. It looks like Anderson County but is going to have the We're going to see the, the replay football. here in just a few seconds here. Yeah, we'll Dalton Osborne has checked in. 
He says, let's go, GC. Keep putting it on them, boys. So I tell you, Anderson did a nice job of kind of penetrating and kind of, you know, Parsons had to really get, uh, uh, you know, really kind of get rid uh, of that football quitty, qu- pretty quick. So Justin did a pretty nice job there getting rid of the football. I'll let you be the replay guy because I don't know what I'm seeing anyway uh, when I go down there and, and start trying to break it down. First and 10, Anderson County as Eli Castle still in shotgun formation as he's going to come back to throw the football this time. He's got pressure on him as Andrew Sparks tries to flush him out of the pocket. But finally, Bryce Bullock would not give up. As wow, what a play nowhere. by Bryce Bullock. To absolutely clean house. What a great play by Bryce Bullock. As I love that enthusiasm. Oh, no doubt. Loss of about five. Now, now that's what I usually do when I'm about to eat smoke meat. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, from from uh, smashing smoke. What would you see there? In the I, I, I think the ball hit the geared player. All right, uh, I couldn't so, tell. So, you know, I, I'm fair. You you're, know, if you're I'm fair and true. balanced. Fair and yeah, balanced. Yeah. That's you. Fair and so I, I, balanced. I think that kind of – now, what I saw kind of looked like it hit Garrett's player. As Garrett County bringing the pressure this time as Malachi Simmons. It's going to be picked <laughs> up. <laughs> By Chandler. Is that Chandler, Chandler Payne, Payne again? Go Chandler Payne. Oh Keep running, my baby. Goodness. As that's the second INT of the night for Garrett County. Chandler Payne. And that was exactly what Garrett County was needing. Leading 42 20 on your Urban Group scoreboard. 7 20 to go here in the fourth quarter. Second pick of the night. What a play. As it Ch- looks second, like. Yeah, second, uh, the, the second interception there by, by Chandler Payne. Second pick of the night. Looks like Gary County now is going to be able to uh, keep this thing on the ground. As that is exactly. It's kind of important to punch this one in. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, your Overgroup scoreboard has seven minutes and 20 seconds left here. Gary County up 42 to 20. Really like to see Gary County kind of punch this one in and kind of put this game away. As Malachi Simmons to the right side, going to get a good block that time by Hayden Elliman. Did he get in or is it going to be just short? We're going to say he's short. Oh, he's actually about four yards short. So, Wes Pete told me they've got a they've got a nickname for him, for Thunder and Lightning. <laughs> That's, I, I like that. Yep. I'm with you. I'm with you. I, I like that a lot because that they really complement uh, each, each other really, really well. Kind of like you guys. Kind of like kinda us. Yep. We would, who's the thunder and who's the lightning? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm more like an earthquake <laughs> than I am a thunder I feel like I'm more of like a tsunami. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's about right. So, B. Sebastian is asking for my predictions for next week since I came out and, and so oh, and got this now. So, next week's off week, but we're going to McQuarrie Central the next week. And, uh, and B, I'm going to tell you, as he gets – so just to the one yard line. So, so let's let's call it call everything for what it's worth here. Okay? Yeah. If you, you may listen, you know we had almost a thousand people listen to the soccer broadcast. Right. Yep. No doubt. And somebody called a win tonight. I did. Well, so uh, I, I mean, got you're on a heater. I three for three on touchdowns. One for one on wins. Uh, Do you I feel wanna, like they're going to score a touchdown here? Oh, Are you willing I, I mean, to put, put, too, the, put it online? That's too easy. <laughs> I mean, really, like that's too easy. Who wants to do anything like that? But I'm going to go. Uh, B, I'm going to tell you. You challenge me, my friend. So, oh. so after the the, the wow. off week, we're going to Stearns, Kentucky, baby, and we're coming back two and three. I'm going to tell you that right now. As Malachi Simmons gets in for a touchdown, <laughs> Gary <laughs> County. <laughs> Big touchdown by the Gary County Golden Lions as that leaves your Irving Group scoreboard. Gary County 48, Anderson County 25, 53 to go. And, uh, you know, Coach, it's one of those things great to see oh, this man. tonight. Great to see so this a shot of energy. Great to see this crowd out here. Great to see the guys respond. Uh, and that's fantastic with 5.53 to go here as Parker, excuse me, Parker. <laughs> say Parker Daly, his That's younger brother, family. Zach Daly, yeah, uh, kicks uh, another one tonight, uh, and that uh, is uh, six uh, for uh, six uh, tonight, uh, as he is 12 for 12 on the season. Wow. As we will go to a break with your Irving Group scoreboard, he's Gary County 49, Anderson County 25, 53 to go here in the fourth quarter. Gary County Golden Lions football, Golden Lions Sports Network. 
homeowner. I didn't know anything about the loan process, so that's why we decided to go with First Southern. The process with First Southern was exactly how I pictured it. They were just very welcoming and made me feel like I had known them forever the minute that I walked through the door. Since 1967, Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers have helped folks with their farms, commercial property, auction needs, and of course, dream homes. The Irvin Group Realtors and Auctioneers, no one sells it better. Since 1951, Danville Office Equipment has dedicated itself to providing personal superior office products for our customers. We take a lot of pride in their success because that's how we measure ours. Danville Office Equipment, Danville, Lebanon, and Somerset. Farmers National Bank believes investing in education is the best way to build a stronger community. Good luck to all the Garrett County students in the classroom and on the playing fields. Go Lions! And welcome back, folks, as squib kick for Garrett County is going to be returned into Garrett, Town, Garrett County territory. It'll be first and 10. Bobcat, Bearcats from the 48-yard line of Garrett County. Go wild. You know, I tell you, Scott, we, we talked about this during the break. But, man, Zach Daly, I mean, he's been automatic. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, he, he hasn't missed an extra point on, uh, for the whole entire season. And it becomes a weapon. Yeah. Uh, it definitely becomes a weapon for uh, Garrett County when you've got an individual that you can almost kind of count on. Uh, to be that accurate, uh, being a field goal kicker. So, you know, seven for seven on oh the my, night. Can't get much better. Thirteen than that. of thirteen on the year. Now, my math, however, I will, didn't take trigonometry, but that tells me that's what, a pretty good percentage. You think the colonel would agree with it? <laughs> Probably so. It's going to be a throw out to Higgins on uh, the flats as he's going to uh, be ran out of bounds at about the 30-yard line after a first down of about uh, – he probably got 13 or 14 yards. Our friend Selena Willoughby's checked in. And, you're, and yeah. yes, Selena, that Zach is also on the boys' soccer team. That's he's right. a kicker for the football That's team. That's right. Selena was here tonight, so she must have uh, just left and We found in. out she likes Ohio State. She loves Ohio State. It was one of those things we got a chance to uh, meet with her last night or at the uh, soccer game on Tuesday night and uh, told us how much that she loves Ohio State. First and 10 for the Bearcats. Shotgun formation as they have all night for Castle. As he drops back on a throw on deep as Cam Peak is in coverage. Yeah, good coverage, good coverage that time <laughs> as it is going to be incomplete. That'll be up second and 10. Stops the clock with 5.30 to go in this contest. I tell you what, Scott, just, you know, we, we, we'll have a couple more times kind of have the opportunity to kind of talk about this. Man, it's been a special night. Oh, it's great. Uh, and, I mean, this community was starving to have a home football Absolutely. game. Absolutely. Uh, and, and it kind of showed out in numbers, kind of showed out in energy and enthusiasm. And I tell you, that this has been a fun night. Been a lot of fun. A lot of folks said uh, this has been a big night, a uh, long time coming. Uh, so it's going to be a fumble as Malachi Simmons is going to get through it, as, but not until Eli Castle is – able to recover the football. <laughs> so Malachi, uh, you know, you, you see the uh, helping hand sometimes, but I'm not sure if I've seen a hug before. So, man, I mean, I tell you, that's a great sportsmanship from Malachi. <laughs> Malachi helped him up and then gave him a hug. <laughs> well, you know, I, you know, I'll be honest. I, 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 I'll give some folks some behind-the-scenes information. As an old high school principal, uh, you know, when we would have some of our boys get a little upset at each other, that was one of the, my philosophies. We got Go to the hug. hug it out. Hug it out. Go to Me the and hug. Jim Freeman spent a lot of time with uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, dealing with those kind of situations. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a uh, like pass it. this time. It's going to be caught, but tackled quickly there by Hayden Holcomb. I tell you, Hayden's uh, played a nice game in the secondary as well. Garrett Kane's secondary's played pretty nice. They you know, really kind of got burned on one play, but has a couple of uh, interceptions, uh, uh, multiple pass block ups, and done a really nice job of kind of making some big tackles for Garrett County. Be fourth and 18 for the Bearcats from the Garrett County 39 yard line. Offense staying on the field. 4.22 to go in the fourth quarter as a long pass down the right side as that will be incomplete. That should just about do it. Gary County will take over on downs with 4.17 to go. 49.20 is your score on your Irving Groove scoreboard. And I'm like you, Coach Grisham. 
That should just about do it. Look, uh, Karen Barnes says field looks awesome. Oh, my gosh. Man, we've field got the best awesome. groundskeeper in the state of Kentucky. Big Chris shout Crutchfield. out to Chris Crutchfield. Huge shout out to Chris Crutchfield. Uh, all that he, he's done for our fields makes it makes it look great. We've always had, even even back to the last one, we had Dickie Gilbert. Uh, he always had the field looking so good, and uh, we're so appreciative. That's kind of one of the great things about here at Die House Stadium oh, is yeah. all Always the, con- the condition of the playing surface. I think Shelby Goldie said it sometime this last week that it's the best grass field in the state of Kentucky, and I'm not going to say I he's wrong uh, because he, he does a such, a, such a good job. So as he's going to be tackled after a, about a game of about seven. Man, what a run by Malachi. Nice, nice uh, tackle by the Anderson County kind of safety kind of coming up. Uh, and kind of make it a big hit. Appreciate our friends at Danville Office Equipment. Uh, appreciate all the support that Scott Bottoms, Derek Lynch, and his crew yes, sir. Uh, yes, kind sir. of provides Love for DOE. us. Found out today Derek likes transporting his dog. He does. He so, does. Uh, you know. you know, nice job by Derek. Uh, <laughs> always there, just kind of a phone call away to give us all the help that, that we possibly need. Now, you know, Derek's got so many hidden talents. Uh, Talented individual. He, he loves wearing his Gary County shirt, does. too. He does. He kind of does, I, and I don't blame him. As Malachi is going to get oh, a uh, hand off the right side as he's going to be uh, tackled quickly. See if no, number three helped him up but did not <laughs> hug him. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm impressed. These, the, the, both these teams have played hard with great sportsmanship. We mentioned Whitaker Bank earlier. Uh, and I tell you, man, just Jessica Fife, Lisa Sebastian, all the support yep. uh, that Whitaker Bank provides not only for this broadcast, uh, but, man, for the school. Uh, Jeff kind of showed you the brand-new school board. Uh, that's uh, that's up on the football field. It looks phenomenal. Uh, so, man, we we sure do appreciate our friends at Whitaker We're very Bank. lucky. Yes, Just we are. have these great sponsors. Yes, we, we really are. Just south of three minutes as it's 2.55 to go third and nine for the Golden Lions as Malachi Simmons is going to get it off the left side this time as he's going to continue to run hard. Gets out Malachi to the 45-yard line. Yard line. going to be about five, four yard. yards short or so. Uh, tune in on 105.1 tomorrow as Kentucky Wildcats oh, yeah. kick off at noon against Youngtown, Youngstown State. As powerhouse. Powerhouse. Yeah, powerhouse. Not like Toledo. Be, not like Toledo. Not like Toledo. Yes. Not like Toledo. I mean, they just – Ohio State just play anybody. Yeah. Not Kentucky Wildcats. We roll out only the best <laughs> as uh, we want to make sure that our teams are battle-tested. As, uh, Looks like I think this is going to be another punt here by Justin. Justin Parsons in a short formation to punt, but that's what he's been doing a lot of since Jagger Wood has been out. As Jagger comes back next week, and we'll go ahead and take a break as it's a timeout for Coach Crutchfield and Gary County Golden Lions. This is Golden Lions football on the Golden Lions Sports Network. Friendly service from people you know. That's Sutton Pharmacy. We are a hometown community pharmacy with old-fashioned values, experience, and the latest technology and resources. Sutton Pharmacy, dedicated to providing the very best for you. Go Lions! Toyota of Somerset has been serving and supporting our local communities. Trusted, loyal, dedicated, helpful, and consistent. Toyota of Somerset. Come see us. Whitaker Bank has always been more than just a bank. We're a locally owned, community-driven institution made up of your friends and neighbors. And of course, Golden Lion fans just like you. Garrett County and Whitaker Bank, uniquely Kentucky, member FDIC. Hey, I'm Maria Montgomery, and you're watching Main Street Media TV. And welcome back, folks, as fourth and four for Gary County as Justin Parsons will kick this one away. He gets a good Gary County kick as Houston Barnes is going to let it roll all the way out until finally they will touch the football, and it will be first and ten. Bearcats from their own 23-yard line. So we also appreciate our friends at Bradford Barbecue, Jennifer uh, and Matthew Bradford. Appreciate everything you do for our community. And, folks, uh, if you've not had or tried Bradford Barbecue, my goodness. Yeah, I mean, oh, it's man, awesome. The brisket is phenomenal. The yeah, pork's phenomenal. Man, the, uh, man they got I, a potato salad. Oh, my goodness. That is yeah, first like class. The yeah, salad. It, I do. it is unbelievable. They've got the, the brisket tacos. Man, I tell you, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, no uh, doubt. But, but definitely appreciate the sponsorship. And, and uh, we're going to name a Bradford Barbecue player of the game here uh, before the, the game is over again. The over group scoreboard has one minute, 53 seconds left in tonight's ball game. Anderson, uh, Anderson County 20, your Gary County Golden Lions 49. 
Anderson County is uh, going to be in shotgun formation still. Looks like they have a new quarterback in as it is going to be number seven, Braxton Mackey, as he is going to uh, hand it off to 41, which is Leighton Carkeen. Uh, my apologies Leighton for Kirkin. butchering that name, Carkeen. As he's going to get a gain of about five. So, Scott, one of the things we've talked about, uh, you know, we've been on the air almost three hours. So, uh, when the game's over here, we're going to wrap this thing up and kind of we'll see you in two weeks at in in the metropolis, Stearns, oh, Kentucky. Stearns, Kentucky. Uh, so, uh, uh, we'll, we'll definitely kind of have a fun time uh, on our way to McMurray County. Let's kind of keep it right yeah, here, Scott, if that's it okay. You know, folks, we, we really talked about, uh, you know, kind of who was worthy uh, of kind of the Bradford Barbecue player of the game. And, man, I tell you, we, we mentioned about seven or eight players. Oh, no doubt. Uh, and, I mean, KMP coming back uh, from, from being out the last Terrific two weeks. Terrific performance. Oh, yeah. my goodness. You're talking about a difference maker. Absolutely. The Gary County offense just looks different. It does. Uh, you know, Donnelly Barnes texted me earlier and was just like, man, that, you know, just, just that speed makes such a difference. And yeah. Not only speed, but running with a purpose and being tough and, and just, just added so much tonight. Malachi Simmons with another stellar performance. Mason Sula doing a great job on the offense and defensive line. Caleb Centers, I thought, had a, uh, had a phenomenal game here tonight. Uh, really kind of pushing some folks around and kind of opening Daly. up some open, op, uh, open opportunities. Yeah, 7-7. Seven seven. I yeah. mean, my goodness, you can't get much better. Trent Nyson on defense yep. uh, had a great game as well. But we kind of we, we kind of fell uh, – we kind of landed on uh, the Bradford Barbecue player game being Chandler Pink. Yep. Uh, you know, Chandler had uh, not only had two big uh, interceptions, but uh, gave the ball over uh, in, in, in great field position for the Gary County offense. Hand off this time to Anderson County as they're going to get uh, maybe no gain on that one. It'll be third and about six as the clock continues to run. One thirty-three. So I tell you, just again, we 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 said this a couple times. Just a special night, you know, the opening night. Uh, you know, usually have a home game before your fifth game, uh, but but that's just not what happened here tonight. Homecoming, uh, I thought the homecoming festivities was phenomenal. Alex Miller, fantastic uh, man, belting out the, the Love national Alex anthem. Miller. Uh, and folks, I mean, all the guests that we had on tonight. Yeah, no doubt. Oh my goodness, what a no, night! No doubt, it's a lot of uh, clean jerseys in there for the Gary County Golden Lions, which is which is great. As that's going to be Trey Smith with the tackle. Great tackle by Trey Smith as Tristan Murphy gave chase, as well as Cooper Witt was in on that one, and Carson Schultz. So I tell you this, there's going to be a whole lot more to come. But big first win for Spencer oh, Crutchfield as the Gary you know, County yes, it was. head coach, yes, high it was. school head coach. Absolutely. You know, lot, lots of things that, that just kind of make make the, the road a little tougher and a little rougher. But they are they say no retreat. And, and man, man, that's the heck of a – I mean, and they're living it. That's exactly right. I mean, it could not be any more perfect as they continue to fight week in and week out. As a uh, handoff uh, quickly this time to three as Trey Smith tried to get one on that one. It's going to be knocked out of bounds uh, finally that time. Uh, looks like by number 16, John Connor Moore. Oh, John coming, Connor in there making the attack. Coming from the safety slot as uh, John Connor has lots of speed. You know, we talked about Trey Smith. He has lots of speed. John Connor has lots of speed. Isaac Clay Montgomery is out there uh, right now for him. Jaden Newcomb uh, is also Carson in the Schultz line, is out there. The linebacker spot. They also Lucas have, Witt. Nick is Nicholas Gabbard uh, is out there in the middle linebacker position. So a lot of these guys getting to see some snaps here for uh, the Gary County Golden Lions, and these boys are going to be playing uh, for many, many snaps in years to come. 20 seconds to go here as quarterback is uh, going to be hitting it off there to the right side. Going to be a bevy. Now, here's what I like, Coach. Jeff Hester is coaching just as hard right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. As yeah, he yeah. is. There's no doubt about that. Last play as he was in the first play of the game. As a big shout out to Spencer Crutchfield and the Bearcat County Golden Lions for their big win tonight over Anderson County Bearcats. As we're so excited. 
so excited for the coaching staff, for the players, for our school, for our community, as what an outstanding effort as they continue to get better, folks. Trust me, don't sleep on these goal lines because well, I, I, it's early. And I tell you something I found out today. I, I, you know, there's been a couple of injuries uh, that's occurred, and, and the goal lines might get a play or two back uh, before before the, the season actually ends. So, you know, just continue to build momentum, continue to get better, uh, and kind of going maybe in the postseason with a lot of positive momentum. Look forward to getting that first, uh, di- you know, big district ma- matchup no against McCurry Central, right. and I think that's a game they can take and put a win in their belt oh, uh, to start the district well, off. I've, I've, they have to. I've already called. Yeah, I mean, oh, Scott's yeah, called it. My bad. Scott's My bad. It. I mean, yeah. if I'm going to call it, I, I can't. Uh, I'm not. I'm not missing I mean, them now. Him and Zach Daly are I'm just about right. perfect. Right. We're just about perfect yeah. for the yeah. year. So your final score tonight, reason your Irving Group scoreboard: Gary County 49. Anderson County 20 will be off next week, folks, as it is the off week as the broadcasters, Caleb, Scott, and Jeff, need some time to recover. I'm sure the kids probably do too. <laughs> but we're going to have a uh, have an off week, and we'll be back in action in two weeks at Stearns, Kentucky, as we head down 27 to Macquarie Central, where I've already called it. We'll be coming back two and three folks thank you so much for tuning in tonight we sure appreciate it thank you to the gary county uh uh, fans that came out and supported this football team homecoming festivities our award-winning band good luck to them tomorrow as they are under uh they are in a uh a competition uh again tomorrow we're so thankful for all those and folks we sure appreciate you until next time god bless america and take care of each other